Damn it. Okay. Woo. Okay. Um, hello everybody, welcome to the stream, Epic Samurai Live here, coming to you live, hour of the internet. Wait, that's somebody else that says that. Um. Yours now. Yeah, it's mine now. <laughs> take that. Who, fine. I can't remember who it was, but take that. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Uh, oh my gosh, right next to it. N D D N D D N D D N D. Thank you so much for the uh the subscription there, Renax Luke. We appreciate it. That money's going towards my wedding. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you know. Throwing you, throwing you a bachelor's party. Uh Annie McCoozle, so last <laughs> session we actually uh established that um, Nor not Norkilia, sorry. Uh, Neve was going off to the Mage Arena to do some performances and entertain people. And I was just asking her what she was doing exactly. And I'd, I'd like her to share that with the class. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um... Who was I fighting? Was it many fights? Was it just one fight? Um, I don't know. I didn't think that far ahead. <laughs> That's okay. It's, it's honestly up to you. It was a it was a returning champions uh, feature event. Oh, I didn't start. <laughs> um. I think she definitely puts on a show. She works the crowd a little. Um, does some flashy casting to start and then buckles in in the last few rounds. Uh, and just goes, you know, Storm Witch on their butt. Oh, nice. Because <laughs> that's, my, that's my one trick. That's what I got. If you I got lightning. You, people would have thrown you gifts, right? Oh. Ro ro roses. It's a traditional thing. <laughs> yeah, they, they threw a whole bunch of uh, blue roses. <laughs> Ooh, Animal Crossing. Nice. <laughs> yeah, yes. <laughs> just continuing with the blue theme here. This d yeah. campaign now takes place in the Animal Crossing universe. Oh, dang. Oh, that, was, that was not true. Please don't take that to heart. <laughs> Do I get to roll for money made? Yeah. Uh, would you roll like, my hard work. Would you like to roll like Hannah or performance? Like, what do you feel like? Ooh, or do that's you just a good question. Cast some spells. Cast some spells. <laughs> uh, yeah, I can cast some spells. I, how does that translate to? You know what? Uh, I think I'll just have something for here. You can roll performance if you want, or any other okay. actual skill. And I'll just, All I'll right. just pull up a loot table here. Uh, damn, I should get some proficiency in performance. That would be cool. Um, I have proficiency in all the other social skills, but... Uh, Every show needs an audience. Ooh, that's a flat 20. A dirty 20, if you will. Oh, well, that's good. Yeah, it's not bad. I hope All you right, bow. So the, the the crowd goes wild at your performance, and along with uh, I'm sorry, I was just sipping on some Fresca. It's good stuff. Oh, this isn't sponsored. Oh, I was gonna say half take. <laughs> no, no spawn, no spawn. This, this has nothing. Well, it has nothing to do with Fresca. I just I shouldn't have said Fresca. I'm but... also I'm drinking an Aha. Our affiliations are not. <laughs> Aha. We we drink many drinks. Don't don't go buy Fresca. Okay? I mean, unless you like Fresca. Only if you want to. Yeah. Only there. if you want to. <laughs> but, but this stream is sponsored by Secret Labs. Yeah, I wasn't going to get into that just yet. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Brand yeah, recognition. Yeah. There's no shame in it. Okay. <laughs> I, should get, I should get a Secret Lab hat. 
instead of just like taking the pillow off my chair and say, "Hey, look, Secret Lab, go buy a chair." <laughs> At least, for the love of God, buy a chair. <laughs> They've been emailing me. Why haven't you sold any chairs yet? You're not meeting your quota. Do they actually email you? No, they don't. Don't actually email me threats <laughs> about my quota. <laughs> okay, I was. I was gonna be like, "That's mean." Uh, sorry. So mean. Like, I'll buy a chair right now. <laughs> uh, sorry, along with uh, a lot of like, <laughs> little pouches of gold and silver thrown to your feet, uh, there is also two potions of healing. Ooh. You got a pen? Uh, yes, I am taking notes at all times. Okay. A potion of greater healing. Ooh. A potion of resistance. And a potion of invisibility. God damn. In pretty sturdy bottles, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> it just all smashes on the ground. Ah. <laughs> well darn. Well darn. Uh, so, let's say you got, like, a full, like, 850 gold pieces. You rolled a Damn! Pie. You did a good job. Aw, sick! Yo, I'm rolling in coin! Uh, in a combination of, uh, cash from the event itself, as a, like, oh, we want you to come back someday and uh, money that was given to you by your fans. So, uh, sorry, you said 800 G uh, GP total? 850 gold. Oh, shit. Point, I forgot points. the 50. I mean, oh, shoot. After you have a great uh, time at the, uh, the Mage Arena, um, accomplishing like, some some great feats. You realize you've lost track of time, and the sun has gone down, and it's well past bedtime. Maybe you're out partying with your fan club, but uh, who knows? <laughs> no. <laughs> Easy J, Josh, Alex. Well, yeah, Alex. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> it, it's his eye. Oh my god, are you in the fan club? <laughs> sure. Number one, they're a little bit preoccupied, uh, which uh, I don't know if you watched the stream or not. But uh, there's a good one. Telling you about that later. Oh, good. Very curious to see what I'm walking back into. Mm. Um. Uh, I'm, I'm supposing you head back to the inn to see where everybody is. Oh yeah, and you notice yeah. that uh, nobody's actually there. Like your your party's not there. Ah. Uh, you see this little green, um, little green kobold sitting alone, sipping on some tea and reading a book. The wrong. <laughs> Uh, hello there, small one. Oh, hello there. Uh, you wouldn't happen to have seen where uh, the rest of my party is gone. Do you know them by chance? Your party? Uh, yes. Uh, they're Are very you... blue. Oh, you must be talking about uh, that Aurelius guy. <laughs> yeah, I... we, we had a talk. Yeah. Uh, good one? Y y yeah. Really? Uh, we were friends. We hung out. We he, uh, we we shared uh, some some brew, and and uh, he told me some stories. Well, that's lovely. Um, have you any uh, any chance known where they've gone? You know what? I think that um, they went off to some smithy friend of theirs, Kavari or something. Kavari's Forge. I, I think they might still be oh. there. That's right. Okay, I do think that I know where that that is. That was the shop that I've I've actually been to, right? Yes, you've been there. We okay, yeah. Now we've established how you know where <clears throat> to find the people. Look at me go. <laughs> Look at you go. <laughs> right. Well, uh, oh, are you very sorry? How rude of me! I didn't get your name. Oh, uh, that's a uh, sizzle, right? Sizzle. Was it sizzle? Yes. Why can I not find her character sheet? 
It's fine. Okay, it's fine. Oh, there, there it is. Yeah, Sizzle. We know who Sizzle is. Well, uh, I'm Neve. Uh, I, I hate to uh, start a conversation that I can't really finish, but I've uh, already been out too late, and it seems I've missed them. So I really should be off. That's quite all right. You have yourself a fine evening. Can I use um, uh, press digitation to just rewarm her tea to the perfect temperature oh. before I go? As a little thank you. I just realized this is the perfect spell if you're a tea lover. You, you're <laughs> never going to hold tea again. <laughs> She's like, exactly 170 degrees Fahrenheit. Perfect. That's hot. Holy. It's Fahrenheit. That's normal, I think, for tea. Also, she's a kobold, so maybe... Yeah, she probably like Maybe if really. it was 170 degrees Celsius, that would be fine. <laughs> I just... Uh, okay. Past boiling. It's <laughs> <laughs> not tricked on fire. Beer. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, and then I will rush off. All right, you rush right, off. You rush off. I'm at the I'm forge. The I better leave it to you guys now. Okay. Uh, so this this was just after uh, Kavari and uh, Ekatanin left. Go, I don't know, level up Kavari because she's obviously not very helpful. <laughs> well, I mean, she did keep us alive, I guess, so that's good. That's pretty much all she did do. Well, barely. We had to protect her the whole time. Yeah. Because she's like level five or something. Three. 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 Sorry about that. No, it gave us a challenge. It's fine. It was wonderful. I wouldn't change a damn thing. Yeah, 170 Fahrenheit. That's right. For an average tea temperature? Okay. Maybe it was just like a delicate tea. Yeah. You, you've arrived at your destination, Sam, and you see inside a uh, distraught-looking uh, couple of friends. <laughs> <laughs> couple of friends. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sorry, I, 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 I missed you. I, I made us lots of money, but my goodness, what's happened here? Oh, um... It's a long story. I imagine. You may want to sit. Oh, that's long of a story. All right. Yeah, I'm like ugly sobbing on the ground. <laughs> I I brought you flowers. I give them some of my blue roses. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you could use this more than I could at the moment. <laughs> oh, thank you. I missed you so much. We were gonna come look for you, but we didn't have time, and you were busy. Random hugs. What mm -hmm. happened? I, I give you both hugs. Please. I well, would have never left for so long if I'd known it would go this poorly. What what's happened? Well, it's it's a win lose thing that's happening right now. All right. Maybe, maybe we 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 should start from the beginning. Um. We ended up discovering um, a, a healer who could give us more, like, information on the affliction that's happening. And, hey. uh, uh, and then we ran into this funny dwarf. Oh, you would have loved him, me! <laughs> he was the greatest! His helmet was too big for his head! Mr. Jingles. <laughs> Incredible. We had to make him wear blue because, you know, uniform. Right, of course. Dress code. I, of course, you know, if we're going to keep up standards. And uh, this elf was kidnapped by this, like... Was, was it... it Was it was it, was it kobolds? He, or was it, like, little he, was the, he was the son of a half-dragon. Oh, the son of a half-dragon. Right. No, he was the son of a full-on dragon. Oh, so he was the half-dragon. Yeah, he he's the half -dragon. his son. <laughs> yeah. Or he's the half-dragon. 
we, we, we had to go sneak inside a palace thingy to rescue her, and we had to fight this his like arch enemy, and it was it was a he almost gave away our well he did give away our position. I do not recommend him for stealth missions. He does not do stealth very well at all. Oh, yeah. No. So we fought we fought the son of the dragon and he got away. Blackwing, that was his name because I remember him yelling Blackwing. <laughs> <laughs> And, he's a very uh, charming fellow, I must say, and I'm being sarcastic. He's ve he's very charming, I thought. And uh, we we ended up rescuing the elf, and uh, 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 my affliction is more permanent than I realize. Oh dear! I'm gonna die. And who told you that? Well, oh, sorry, go, go ahead. Well, see, here's the thing. There is an option that exists where she takes another magic potion, which basically, it doesn't cure her ailment, but it prolongs her life and resides the symptom. So it's like a relief. Hey. And, but the problem is, is that if she does that, and she ends up uh, injured or starts to die. It's a very inhumane, unsettling, horrifying death. Huh. Even worse than if the affliction were to take her naturally. That's the problem. And if hey. I don't, if I don't take the potion, I don't have much time left. I I'll lose my memory, and eventually I won't be able to walk at all. And these are the only two options that were offered. Yes. And then I just throw my arms around Neve and I start crying on her. Oh, I hold you. But who is this elf woman that declared this finality? Are we sure there's no one else we can speak to? I don't want to give false hope, but... It mm. seems unrealistic that this one woman feels so confident that she has all the answers. The way she explained it uh, seems like she was the most knowledgeable of this ailment we could find, and that's the solution she gave us. So that's where we're at right now. You would have seen her when you walked in. She would have been leaving with our, uh, our uh, uh, dragonborn friend. That's me. Oh. Was she a dragonborn too, though? She's a half dragon. Oh, jeez. There's so many dragon races. They all look the same. <laughs> Those dragons are the best. They are pretty cool. Okay. Uh, wow. That, I see. That's a lot. Yeah. Uh, and to be fair, that uh, half dragon Blackwing uh, nearly destroyed us all. Very he, close. He got away. But he ran away like a coward, like they all do. This was the one that she said was not uh, not very stealthy. Oh no, oh. the dwarf. The dwarf wasn't the the stealthy. Uh, but the dwarf was a very vital uh, ally to have. That's for sure. So, so the dwarf's whole stick was. Um, I guess he's a professional dragon hunter, but he's never actually killed a dragon, and he's been hunting this dragon for like forty I'm... years. Incredible. And this Blackwing is a is a half dragon as well, or a full dragon? He's a half dragon. Half a half. Dragon. He's a black half dragon. Ogdrin Laser was the dwarf's name. What a lad. Ogdrin. Okay. So, this potion that was offered to alleviate your symptoms, it'll allow you a uh, respite for the moment. But if you die while on it, it'll be a horrible death. Yeah, it's, she described like the sickness as basically the decaying of the soul. So it's like my soul's dying. Oh. 
And that's something that unfortunately doesn't have a cure. So if we were even to move your soul into a different body, it would would remain the same? Uh, I probably. <clears throat> well, hey. Well, what is it that you want to do? I, I'm, I'm conflicted. I, I imagine that's, I think that's understandable. From, from my, from my understanding of everything, I mean, I want to go out the way my deity intended, but if I do it that way, from my understanding is I, I will die before this adventure is over. And I kind of want to see this through to the end. Well, that's... Hmm. Is there any way that we can get in contact with your deity? Tomorrow? Maybe allow the the freedom to complete this... This quest and... Have her stop the timer? Oh, I don't... From what the elf described, it's nothing, like, this sickness is even beyond the god's power. Okay. Hmm. Like, there's nothing no gods can do. No... No praying or anything could help. It kinda is what it is. I'm just pacing around the room as you two are talking. Um, we sus we suspect. Um, I don't know if you guys remember telling you the story, Neve, of uh, when I was I uh, when I was rattling around in that tomb, and that's how I figured I got it. Mm -hmm. I figured the body that was uh, uh, in the tomb had uh, the gray wasting, and it kind of attached itself to me. Oh. And then when I die. It could spread to somebody else. Sorry, did you say your god's name is Tamara? Lady Luck Tamara, yeah. <clears throat> that is who I serve. Fun name. You know there's a church to Tamara here. Just so you know. But if you wanted to go pray, you could. Just saying. It's up to you. Your choice. Have you have you spoken to your goddess recently? Oh, I think we've only spoken to Aurelius's god, but mm -hmm. I mean, I guess we could try. Maybe she could offer you some some guidance in this. I wish I could be in more help, but I think this might be a little bit out of my realm of abilities or my knowledge. It's, it's worth a shot. At least a comforting prayer, anyway, for myself. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess that's... I guess we, we give it a dying... No pun intended. A dying chance. Did this, um... This elven woman, did she give you this potion that, that would quiet your symptoms? No, she said she has to go and grab things to brew it. And I, I asked her if I could think about it, because this is kind of... You know, do you... Right. The way God intended, kind of speak? You know, or... But did your God intend you to get the gray waste thing? I mean, I shouldn't have been rooting around in there stealing. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> But this seems like a very um, extreme punishment for for grave robbing. I mean, uh, million and one other people are doing that sort of thing and worse. I I mean, gods can be you know pretty fickle and wrathful sometimes, and mine sure. some of the gods. But I mean, the work even that you've just done in the last few weeks, in my mind at least, makes up all of that, and then some. She has a point. I mean, if you can prove to her that you're worthy, 
which I believe you are, we both believe you are, it's worth a shot. I think you guys are right. Maybe it's time to pray to the Lady of Luck. I mean, you've been you've been faithful to your god up to this point, right? A hundred percent. I've totally devoted myself to her. Plus, you've proven yourself in battle against the common enemy. Your healing abilities are unmatched. I've never seen anyone that heals as well as you are. Oh, you guys are gonna make me blush. <laughs> so I don't see no reason for if you say that your god is as humble as you say she is, to not at least try to offer something. Of course, of course. I I think I think we should go pay her a visit. And uh whatever you decide. Uh I mean, I can only speak for myself, but I think it's fair to say that that will stand by whatever decision you make. Oh, I've made that clear, point clear already, don't worry. Oh, good. Man, you guys are the bestest friends a girl could have! <laughs> <laughs> and I start crying. Blue, blue gang forever. Blue, blue gang, gang forever. <laughs> we gotta get jackets made or something. Oh, oh a flag like or something. Jackets. Or yeah. a flag or something. <laughs> I would say capes, but no. there's a voice in my head saying no capes. No Not capes. sure when I picked that up. I don't know. Some some majestic dwarven woman with very keen sense on fashion must have said that once. That's right. You know, that does sound familiar. Anyways, we'll figure it out. You, oh. uh, you're heading over to the temple right now? Why not? Why it'll, not? Be, it'll, it'll, be, it'll, be, it'll be quiet this time of what day. What time of day is it? It's night like, time, but you can go. Who cares? All right. A little prayer before bed. <laughs> it's probably like the early AMs. Oh, jeez. It's oh, late. Uh, you make your way to the temple. It is unoccupied, um, but open. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, you enter the temple and... In spite that it may seem like pitch black inside, no candles are feel the light of your god as you enter. Uh, just you, cleric. <laughs> Everybody else just sees a dark room. <laughs> but you feel oh, uh, a warm light coming from the statue of your goddess. Okay, I, uh... How much money do I have? Oh, okay, well I got one silver. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna be... Okay, I'm gonna, I'm going to, um, like, cause you know how they usually have, like, a bowl, like, for offerings? Like, mm -hmm. they, I'm gonna put two gold pieces in there and say, uh, a cop, a, the, a cop, what is it? It's a copper to the, uh, Lady of Luck will return ten gold in fold. It, I don't know. It's something like that. Yeah. <laughs> I say the thing. Yes. I say the line. You say I the say line. The, I, I say the line. <laughs> it is mad. It is majestic. Yes. Uh, you don't. You don't have the rule of religion for this if you don't want to. Uh, I don't know. I mean, so what's I, gonna I happen can. is gonna happen. But if you want to roll dice, I mean, go ahead. <laughs> um. You know what? Uh. uh, uh, uh okay. Why not? Why what? not? I'm proficient in it. There oh you my go. god, look at you. Dirty 20s. You rolled a 19. Uh, you sit quietly standing? Um, I'm probably Let's... standing. You stand uh, looking at this, uh, this statue. Uh, as you do, the statue seems to stay perfectly still in place while the rest of the temple around you is a swirl and Almost like it's moving. Find yourself uh, almost feeling a little bit of vertigo uh, as you feel it. All that is in front of you is this statue and an expanse that you cannot see the end of. Oh, that's cool. It's uh, quite something. Uh, the rest of you just see her standing here <laughs> <laughs> uh, quietly with her eyes closed. I whispered to Neve, I hope, I hope this works. Me too. Uh, what do right, we... the gods could be fickle. 
I mean, they're gods. They have to be gods for reasons, right? I, I suppose. I don't like it, though. Hmm. Cool. So, I'm... As I, like, regain myself from the vertigo or whatever, I was, like, a little tipsy or whatever, but then... My lady... Tomorrow... I come to you in my most desperate hour. You feel a gentle touch on your shoulder. Okay. You turn to face and you see the visage of your deed. Okay, and then I like bow before. I get on my knees and I like bow before kind of thing. She picks you up. Uh, just shakes her head. She says to you, my child, your plight reaches me deeply. Stirring the waters of my heart. The universe is vast, and within its border, bo boundless realms, there are mysteries that even we, the gods, ponder with reverence. The ailment you have contracted, so dire that it threatens the soul itself, is indeed a rare and heavy burden to bear. My lady. I, I have been, I have devoted myself to you. If, if there is no cure, is there any way that we could pro, prolong my life even just a little bit to see this journey through with my friends to the end? The demon that we're hunting, the devil that we're hunting must be stopped. And after the quest is complete, I will- I promise I will not take the potion, and I will die. As always, your faithful servant in who I am. The choice to, uh, laid before you is for you and you alone. Not even I would dare interfere with your decision. I'm afraid there is nothing I can do. Extend your... time here on the material plane. And beyond. In the gardens of life, even the most resilient flower must sometimes face the storms. Yet, it is not the absence of adversity, but the courage to per uh, perceive it through, persevere through it, that defines us. Your soul's journey is a unique path. Path paved with trials that even you in your mortal form can navigate with faith and determination. Then I shall carry on with my faith. I only ask that you grant me and my friends all the luck that you have given to see this through. And that when my time comes that you welcome me with open arms. She nods and says, I will present you and your party a boon. When the time is right, we'll know what it means. A small little locket. Ooh. Seems ordinary. ordinary. It's a gift hidden in plain sight. So I guess it's like a it's a one use kind of thing. Uh, at first glance, it appears to be like a simple piece of jewelry, mm -hmm. like seemingly normal metal with a soft. Warm glow, akin to the comforting light you felt when you entered the temple. Uh, and oh, I guess if, if, when you look down at it and look up, you're back in the temple. Oh, as you were before. Uh, and the rest of you, you see her. She had. 
like she didn't have a lock in her hand before, but she does now. <laughs> <laughs> it's just there. It's fine. So I walk, I walk up to my friends and I was like, well, I'm, unfortunately, there's nothing she could do for me, but my lady was generous enough to grant us this locket. I have no idea what it does. It's a boon of some kind. Do you, do you open it? I don't, did I, should I open it? You do what you want. It sounds about right that you would open it. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna open it. Uh, it you, it reveals uh, nothing inside except for a mirror-like surface. Uh, anybody looking at it, uh, you, you don't really. It just looks kind of like whatever. Lock it with a tiny mirror inside. But uh, you can tell when you look into it, uh, it, it seems to be a reflection of your soul and not your body. Oh, and what Ooh. does my soul look like currently? Uh, it's uh, not looking great. <laughs> <laughs> looking a little down the dumps. Um, but it does seem <laughs> to give you a sense of how much time you have left. Uh, which doesn't seem like you're got a whole lot of time left okay we got about a week oh Ooh. like to, to decide if you're gonna take the potion or not yeah take the potion or die and the potion just to clarify it only like quiets your symptoms and like actually it condenses symptoms Oh, right, and so then when away. you die, you get, like, all that pain and suffering right at the end of your life? Yes. What if you never die, though? <laughs> well... I mean, it doesn't stop you from dying of natural causes of old age. But if you end up surviving until your old age, well... Hello, Dark Phantom. Good to see you. To vampirism. <laughs> Could live forever. I was just gonna say, doesn't... Doesn't vampirism, like, take away your soul or something? Oh, boy. Do we know, like, can I do a history check or something to see if I know how vampirism works? somebody you know. I know! Wait, are, <laughs> they're not here, are they? They're far away? Yeah, they're a little bit far, yeah. Oh, okay. They're like a week well, away, actually. <laughs> I don't know sending. Oh, Sorry. <laughs> I decided to take lightning bolt instead, because I'm cool. Um... <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, uh, the party members on any of the channel point. Oh, don't worry, said, we'll make it blatantly obvious. <laughs> <laughs> I said we'll do. <laughs> we'll be like if anybody okay. has channel points. Oh no! <laughs> if you see but... anything in the chat that's red, that might be a good indication. Okay, I. <laughs> I have a question. <laughs> Say we rolled a natural 20 on something, could they use the points to make us re-roll roll it to get a lower number? Um, Why would you do that? That I'm seems mean. I actually, <laughs> I'm just I, I actually made it so that all of the descriptions are always positive. Oh, okay. um, that's nice. But there's nothing stopping you from getting it and re-roll the fucking 20. Sorry, what have you done? <laughs> but don't teacher, do it. Teacher, you forgot to assign us homework. <laughs> yeah, God. Oh, and okay. And you're the well, and you're, you're the one in the classroom that reminds the teacher that we're all like, you gotta be kidding me. Um. Well, <laughs> maybe we maybe we should reach out to. Um. Uh, maybe we should reach out to our uh, our uh, our vampire friends. I don't know exactly how it works, but I don't know. Could be a, an avenue. Uh, that's not an avenue I would like to take, to be completely honest. <laughs> Alright, well. As, as you, you mean you don't want follows... your soul ripped from your body? No, as somebody who follows the divine, no. <laughs> I, I, I think she'd understand, maybe. But then again, I don't understand how gods work, so... 
I mean, she didn't seem all that upset of me taking the potion. She's just like, hey, it's a choice you want to take. And that when my time comes, I'll be in her arms. So, you know what? Huh. Well, that's good that she didn't, you know, like, take that option away from you. It sounds either way that, you know, she'll take you at your death. So, that that's good to know. Yeah. I mean, that was kind of the main thing I was worried about. To be honest. Well, I mean, in the meantime... Look, I I don't want to put down the abilities of this elven woman that, that we've literally just met today, but um, you know, you know, maybe maybe we um we just keep our our eyes and our ears open for people who are experts in you know the matters of the soul and the grey wasting. Sure, yeah, we'll Correct never me. stop looking, but. Correct me if I'm wrong, but doesn't didn't the potion potion also say that if you do die, if you take the potion, your soul doesn't go anywhere; it just vanishes to nothing. That's kind of the, the the deal with the whole the whole just not really a reversible effect. So, regardless if she takes the potion or not, if she dies, her soul vanishes to nothing. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Darn. And potentially it'll carry on to someone else. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. We don't know how exactly it carries on to somebody else. It's all, we only know that it, it transfers after you die. Okay, so go with me on this. <laughs> Would Now, I know you said vampirism, absolutely no, but <laughs> if it takes, just, just go with me on this thought experiment. <laughs> okay. um, if you wanted to make sure that it didn't keep passing along, would becoming a vampire in your last few moments, potentially just kill it outright. You know, get rid of the... Almost like getting a... Um, um, do we have vaccines in this world? <laughs> 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 you know, getting a vaccine, almost. You're, gonna, you're, you're already... Gonna... Sure, vaccines exist in this world. Okay, I hope so. Um, <laughs> modern miracles, they are. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know. Maybe it's just something uh, to think about for uh, if you if you wanted to make sure that the grey wasting didn't uh, continue passing on. But I also understand you just not wanting to go that avenue. That is quite a, a nuclear option. Massive nuclear option, in my opinion. But, I mean, sure. Sure. I think I think I think I'm gonna take the potion because I really want to help you guys out with this devil that we're hunting. I don't want to leave a job unfinished. But as long as you're not doing it because you think you're leaving us in alert or anything like that. Yeah, don't feel like you're you owe your life to us because you don't. I mean, of course we would love to have you around for longer, but you know, don't 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 factor that in. If it's something you don't want to do. Nah, so, wanna, about about the resurrection spell, no. <laughs> so, uh, about that, you kind of need a soul. <laughs> oh, shoot. Um, bam. Yeah. I meant to tell you, like, a couple sessions ago, when you came back from the Feywild, the Zybilman's Coffer of um, an opening is uh -huh. currently working at full capacity. All Wait, what? Are, yeah, like, you know... Do we have the... Yeah, we have yeah. Re yeah. resurrection? We do. Wait, I don't think you do need a soul... Wait, let me read the spell. It's been a while since I've looked at ninth level spells. Give me uh, a moment this here. One, this one does... Rec uh, I don't know if it's saying you need a soul or not, but um, in the context of this universe, you <laughs> do need a soul. For okay. Like that. Uh, you touch a creature that has been dead for no longer than 200 years and that uh, died for any reason except old age. So if you die of old age, you can't bring them back. Um, if the creature's soul, soul is free and willing. So if your soul was gone, then Damn it. I, I don't think it's work. It does specify soul business in there. Oh, it was worth a shot. Hey, it's, I mean, very powerful thing to have on our side, either way, but... 
Oh. I think I think maybe uh, yes. If 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 you want to take the potion, I I am behind you one hundred percent on that. I am I am behind you as well. But we're never going to stop looking for other ways. Even you know? if it even if it ends up being a dead end road, we won't give up. Exactly. You guys are the best. <laughs> Okay, let's go get me my potion. Then we got it. I think we right go now. Sleep Should first. we sleep first? I think we all need a nap. Yeah. Yeah. You know, again, a hundred percent behind you on this. I I was always told that I should sleep, eat, and shower before I make any major life decisions. So <laughs> I was told. I was told. And I the, stand by that. <laughs> I was told the S and that acronym meant something else, but maybe that's just me. Oh well, sure. <laughs> Add in and take out whatever you need. <laughs> Uh, you have a good night's sleep. Um, but Rhinaxalu, I got something special for you. Uh oh. Great. That sounds threatening. Uh, <laughs> this does not bug well. During your, your night, experience a dream. It feels very, very real. I feel very lucid and in control. But you find your arms and legs are all like strained and you can't move. And you see before you this. this thing. Whoa, that's oh. scary. Oh. Uh, it is colossal. It is like looking at the. like a, a huge expanse of a galaxy from space. It's this thing that is reaching out to you. That is horrifying. Yeah. Yeah, no, sorry about the horrifyingness of that. <laughs> uh, Who are and, you? Uh, it says nothing. But you can feel its pull. You can feel it, it, its, its hunger to devour everything. Can you cast spells while you're dreaming? Is that a thing? I don't. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Well, I think I'm. So I'm dreaming. I'll just try to cast uh, sacred flame. I guess. Uh, what kind of components do you need? That do you need to move your hands around? Yeah, I do. Oh damn. Okay. Well, then I can't do anything. <laughs> I mean, unless you're lucid dreaming and you have full control. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna try to like. It looks it's all shadowy and stuff, right? Like it's all sh like it's all dusty or spirity or whatever. Yes, it is like this. Uh, it's almost like uh, imagine you're floating in space, and off in the distance you can see this this like galaxy arrangement, like that. This this thing before you. Can it's... I like? Flap my hand, try and like dust it away. Like you know when you have like dust in your face and you're trying to like. You can do that. Okay, I'm gonna try. I'm... You try to. Away! Well, as you kind of swat it away, as terrifying as it appears, uh, the 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 dream imbues you with this odd sense of clarity. Uh, as you realize you can't, like, get it away from you. You see now this plight before you. Uh, it is a foe that cannot be fought directly, or, you know, you can't cast a spell at it to deal with it. This is like an innermost battle, a challenge that not your your body, but your soul is going to have to resolve. We're in danger. We're we're in danger. <laughs> <laughs> and I heard, a, I heard a sleep walking. Now we're sleep fighting. Uh huh. A sleep sacred flame. <laughs> <laughs> Just cast a sacred flame up into the air. And we'll... Oh. 
Do 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 do. Where's the uh the thing? On your the left. The thing. Daytime. Yeah, where's the daytime? Where's the sun? It's over there. Good morning, adventurers. We stayed up too late. I'm in a grumpy mood. <laughs> uh, do you sleep? Uh, do you sleep in? You can sleep in. Well, what what time is it? Like the crack of dawn, like always, or is it a little well, bit into the morning? You guys were up for a while, so it's definitely like into. Okay. As long as it wasn't crack of dawn, or else it'd be very grumpy. But if it's like late a.m., that's fine. I mean, I think we deserved a rest after that last adventure. Oh, yeah. To sleep in. I was I this sleep. close. This I close. I had six HP left. I had like two, there three. <laughs> yeah. I was staring at the Grim Reaper right in his face, but I said, you know what? No. Second wind. <laughs> I ain't going down without a fight, baby. Okay. I come out of my room and I greet my friends. And I'm like, I had the weirdest dream last night. <laughs> Is that so? There was like this weird, cloudy, windy looking weird thing. And no matter what I tried to do, it just wouldn't go away. Interesting. It was like it had a hunger that like wouldn't be satisfied. Sounds like me. Um, not every morning though. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this 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 thing you said it was gray had a hunger. Yeah. This isn't like maybe a dream representation of of the gray wasting. Do you think? I I think I think you're right. I think it is. Well, uh, not sure if that's a good sign or a bad one that it's coming to you in your dreams now, but if there's some kind of entity behind this, perhaps it could be thought the old-fashioned way. Maybe. And maybe that, that grey thing is how it goes through people, because as, as far as I know, it can only possess like one person at a time. Right. And when the person dies, then it travels to the next one. Now... I So I was looking through all my stuff again, and I don't know if this is anything or helpful at all, but that coffer that started up working again, um, not only does it give it the ability to resurrect, well, a willing soul, so I'm not sure if that's helpful right now, but good to have. Um, it safeguards souls, uh, preventing their passage to the afterlife or capture by other forces. I don't... I feel like we need to speak to someone who would have more knowledge on this. Perhaps Ivilna herself, if, if we could ever find her, but... Uh, I don't know. Maybe if, if your soul was hidden away, perhaps it would go there without this grey wasting and it would be forced to leave. My, my only worry about that is if it's forced to leave, then it would try to inhabit somebody else. So, right. the good news is, as long as I'm alive, the Grey Wasting can't touch anybody else. That's right. But, with what you said about your dream, perhaps there's something to, if it was suddenly forced to leave, it would be weakened. Maybe we could catch it off guard or something. Again, just speculating at our options. I don't know if that's actually how it would work, or if it has a physical form. But it seems like it's stronger when it's latched onto a soul. Maybe there's something to that. It's like a parasite. Right, exactly. So if we could force it to jump, it'd be a risk, but maybe we could catch it off guard. I mean, it's worth a shot. I mean, we're, we have to go talk to the lady who told me all this. I can't remember her name, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, the oh, elephant woman? Ectanon. 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 Uh, I mean, we have to go talk to Ectanon to get my potion anyway, so maybe we can talk about any of those. 
Even the vampiric solution, if you want. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know that you don't want that one, and I understand. Uh, but I know that you're most concerned with it um, not passing to someone else. That's, yeah. Especially you guys. That would be kind of a lame parting gift, I think. <laughs> I, I mean, we'd understand. <laughs> Thank you for the wonderful time we spent together. Here's the Black Death note. <laughs> uh, as you spend some time uh, just, just chilling, talking about your, your options after waking up. This is an important bonding moment. Yeah, it is an important bonding moment. Uh, the, the doors to the forge open up and you see a battered and bruised Kavari, <laughs> a slightly shredded up uh, Ectanon, stumble into the forge. Were they battered and bruised before they left? Or no, they were not. <laughs> great. Uh... great Lord of Bahamut himself, what happened to you two? Uh, you remember that, that, that Harper I told you about? Yes. Uh, he told me... About, uh, you know, Ectan might know something about a relic of some kind. Okay. Yeah, so I got it. <laughs> she, <just> <laughs> reaches <in. laughs> she reaches out and uh, pulls out this uh, this artifact, this draconic artifact. Uh, and uh, Ectan helped me out. It was, it was quite the adventure. There was this big, uh, like, warforged creature. We, we actually managed to disassemble it without much of a fight. And like, just like, what the? Sus level, level three, sus level three. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I'm uh, glad to see you two are back. <sighs> yeah, the Harper wanted me to give him this thing, but uh, I think I have other plans for it. I'm gonna need the forge if you don't mind. You're more than welcome to stay if you want. <laughs> What does the artifact do, if you don't mind me asking? Oh, you know, uh, just some fun stuff that some cultists, some anti-dragon cultists were, were Whoa, 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 <laughs> slow down there. Yeah, what's up? Do you know what you're doing? I'm gonna destroy this thing. Oh. The Harper oh, um... wants me to give it to him, but I kind of want to destroy it, if that's okay. Are you sure that's a good idea? Well, considering that it is said to, you know, be a component to gaining control over dragons, I think that I would re really prefer to destroy it. That does seem like something that would, um, uh, be hard in the wrong hands. I am just gonna leave this to you. Well, do you have any input? I... no. <laughs> I... <laughs> You know what? You're a half dragon. You are technically more powerful than me, so I, I grant you good luck. I'm oh, walking over here. Don't say that. <laughs> we're, we're all we're all just wa walking around doing our thing. <laughs> yes. That is certainly some way of putting it. <laughs> we're all equals here. No, <laughs> no one's better than the other. Well, I didn't mean that. I just mean, I mean, you can't deny the facts. <laughs> it doesn't offend me, it's just the truth. Well, your origins are a mystery. I simply know my origin. Yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna walk far away from that artifact. I don't trust <laughs> it. How do I? I'm gonna go ahead and level up Kavarian. Excellent. That happened within the span of when we were sleeping. Yeah, they, oh, yeah. Were, they were awake. They were doing stuff. They were out working. We were napping. Hey, we burned it. That's true. She lines up the the artifact on the on, on the anvil by the forge. Starts hammering away at it. Uh, while she does that, like Tannen's actually going to come over to you, Norkil. Oh yeah, I gotta talk to her about stuff. <laughs> <laughs> we got serious business. <laughs> okay. 
Ectanon. <clears throat> this is my wonderful best friend, Neve. Neve, this is Ectanon. Hello, Hello, darling. Wonderful to meet ya. Hello, Neve. Pleasure to make your acquaintance. There's that person. <laughs> Look, she's blue. Yeah, she has blue hair. And she's Pretty. Blue she matches us. <laughs> I have to okay, make I like the, her. I have to make all the important NPCs. That's, That's true. true. That's how you know they're, they're friendly. Oh, no. <laughs> Where are colors? Yep. Well, uh, I really must be thanking you for offering us a solution in the darkness of this uh, affliction. Uh, I... Would like to just tell you that it's not really a solution. I know, but it's the best we have, though. And I know the ingredients may be rare, but it's the least I can do for what your friends have done for me. They've saved my life. And we're um, quite proficient at that. Yeah, well, see, as a no, no need to brag or anything. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know you two aren't going to brag on our behalf, so I'm going to do it for us. Do it. You two are far too humble. I balance us out. <laughs> <laughs> That's perfect. Oh, but um, Neve was kind of throwing around, I don't know, some other ways of trying to battle this affliction. So I've started getting weird dreams. I don't know if you've heard about it, but there's like this weird, like, ghostly looking gray thing and it just like hungers and I feel like its hunger would never be like satisfied and no matter what I did it would just never disappear I've heard stories of the gray wasting I've read read up on it a great deal I've heard some say that it is a living entity in a way Simple, but still alive. Okay, so the creature that I probably dreamed of was like a it's, physical manifestation of, of Grey Waste. It's certainly a possibility that the, the entity you saw in your dream was a full representation of the creature. Does so, that mean, I mean, in your studies and such... That there's any way to to fight it as one would fight a creature. I suppose I should tell you something. I don't know if Paul, but it's said that this same affliction has taken gods from existence. Gods themselves, deities themselves. Huh. Well, if I'm gonna go out, I guess I'm gonna go out with a bang. No, no pressure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do, is there any written record of which deities were taken out by the Grey Wasten? Uh, not to my knowledge. If there was, they there is one place. There's a secluded. There's, there's a story about a re re repository of knowledge, but I would have to. Do more research on finding out where that might be. You could go searching for that, but it depends on your choice. If you want to take the potion, then I think I would have enough time to search for that, but I can't say it would give you any solutions. It might give you answers, but... If you want to go easily, we can... I can make preparations in my tower and make sure you didn't suffer passed on. Um, you'd want to take the potion I've actually cured while we were out. He does produce a small vial. Very small for something that seems to be so dire. Just because he brought it up, you don't think vampirism would help, would you? 
She just kind of shrugs her shoulders. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I really couldn't say one way or the other if vampirism would be a solution or not. I can't say I have a lot of knowledge on that particular but I haven't heard many great results of fighting disease with other disease. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm I'm leaning towards taking the potion anyway. I wanna I wanna help stop this devil before he hurts anybody. And the longer that I live, this disease can't affect anyone else, so at least it's contained within me for now. Yeah, key word for now. For now. Look at you. Taking one for the team. <laughs> Alright. So, can I take the potion from her? You sure can. Cool. I'll take the potion. Uh, as you reach out for it, she pulls it back for a moment. Says to you, I really cannot express enough how horrible this fate would be. You know what? That's you know what? Maybe with the extended time we could figure something else out. A week isn't exactly a lot of time to figure something out, and again, we need to stop that devil from hurting anybody, so I'll my pain and suffering doesn't mean that much compared to the others who will die. She hands you the I'm gonna go to my tower if you ever need anything. You're more than welcome to come. Thank you so much for everything you've done for me. I really appreciate it. Please, think nothing of it. You saved my life. I still owe you. I still owe you a great debt. Okay. I uncork the top of the potion. Can I smell it? What yeah. color is it? Yeah, what uh, color is it? It is a, a like bluish beige, very like a, a mucky color, but it's got a little touch of blue. What, what does it smell like? Uh, it smells a little bit like bog water. Oh. Uh, but it, but not that bad. <laughs> okay. Oh, we've been shanned. It's a wee bit of bog water. Go get it. <laughs> it's just a wee bit water. of bog water. You've been scammed. <laughs> it doesn't I've smell, just gone and scooped it up. It doesn't smell pleasant, but you you've smelt worse smelling potions. Okay. Well I guess pray to your deity for strength and down the hatch. Chug, 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 chug. Uh, as you Thank down you. the potion <laughs> it um it tastes like Dirty sink water with a touch of <laughs> with, the, with a touch of fruit that doesn't mix well with the other flavors. <laughs> uh, like she tried to disguise the really awful taste of it. Yeah, kind of. What, what, what you just ingested, ladies and gentlemen, is a medieval version of Buckley's. <laughs> <laughs> it's awful, but it works. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The rest of you watching her down this potion uh, with a. It's like grimace on her face, maybe. <laughs> Depending on how well you handle the flavors. You notice that her olive skin begins to change. Uh, if you want. Oh! It's up to you. No, you're you're the DM, man. Okay. Go for a drive. All Go right. For a drive. I'm, I'm taking I'm taking the reins. <laughs> uh, whatever your skin tone was before you've cap caught this affliction returns to previous color. Yeah, so it was an olive skin tone. Although your hair remains the ashen white. It suits you, though. Did the color of my eyes go back to normal, or are they still the icy blue? Uh... What, what do you want? <laughs> <laughs> what do you want? Uh, could do some heterochromia going on, I don't know. Uh, Ooh, cool. like one and one? Yeah. Like one comes back, but the other one stays the... One of your eyes changes back to the original color it was, but the other stays that icy blue constant reminder. Oh! 
Now I gotta go in Baldur's Gate and edit my character. <laughs> <laughs> Go around, get you an eye patch to cover up your bad eye. What are you talking about? It looks gorgeous. I know, but it adds that mystique. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Sorry. Um, and it has some more information for you. You guys can go talk to her at the tower later. Mm -hmm. As long as it's not important for this very second. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Later. Oh, by the way, about the potion. Oh, I see you've taken it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, see, that was the wrong potion. Oh, shoot, that was my balding potion. <laughs> I <laughs> died. Starts falling out. Ah! <laughs> Why would somebody want a balding potion? I don't know, it's hot in the summertime. You <laughs> want a fast hair? <laughs> hair is... For a minute, I cast Nair on you. Nair? Nair. Yeah, you know the hair oh, removal yeah. chemical oh, that's yeah. a total scam. <laughs> <laughs> well, thought. Do do I feel better? Like oh, I'm gonna oh yeah, you feel better. Like where where you can now, uh, you you can now take the uh, the dash action again. Yeah. Congratulations. Oh right. Can You're I no longer coughing. Like, look at my soul. Yeah, you yep. see, uh, your soul looks like any other ordinary soul, I guess. But you can still feel the looming presence, sickness. I'm sure he'll haunt my nightmares to the rest of my days, but... It'll be hit and miss. I feel so much better! The gold gives you pains. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Do we want to um, run by the the stuff with the coffer? All the stuff that I was bringing up with you. Do we want to ask um, Ectanin about that? Maybe to have some insight? We should at some point. Yeah, it'd be a good idea. Because, yeah, it's definitely an option still. Uh, uh... Yeah, is um is Ectanin still here? Uh, yeah, sure, she'll still be here. Why bother going back to the tower? She she's just outside. Okay. You can get her before she leaves. Okay. Well, I I only just want to um uh bring up all the stuff that that Neve was uh frantically um yammering on about first thing in the morning, um about the uh, what the coffer can do, how it can. Um, safeguard souls by preventing their passage to the afterlife or captured by other forces. Uh, I don't know if other forces would have the Grey Wasting falling into that, if it would immediately try to jump to someone else, if that could give us an opening to maybe fight this thing. I think that it's, it's, it's very possible that if you were to somehow contain her soul while she passes, it might not save her life, but might be able to wrap the gray wasting itself in this coffer. Oh! I mean, I'm oh. not going to say that it's definite. <laughs> I don't know how powerful it is. If it could escape from this, it doesn't seem like it was designed to be a prison or an entity so powerful, but it very well might it, be able to keep it inside. Just maybe don't open could it. Give us, right. Uh, maybe could give us a temporary means of containing it so that it doesn't jump to anyone else. Yeah, you just have to wait for me to die first. <laughs> right. Please don't do that anytime soon. I promise I won't. On, no. you know, on purpose. If it's by accident, I don't have control over that. It's up to the it's up to the dice gods now. Yep. Um, there was something I wanted to tell you. What's that? There, you have you were looking for a particular uh, Sir Edric Valtor, correct? Oh, that's the dumb correct. Guy. Yes. See, uh, back in, during my studies uh, in the academy, there was another student that, uh, well, they weren't really in my friend group, but we talked sometimes. Uh, <laughs> 
he was particularly interested in interested in the nine hells uh, devils and he definitely mentioned that uh, that devil that you were I don't know if it if it might be valuable to search for him and have a conversation with him. Be able to find more clues about the devil you're fighting. Hunting down. Is that so? What's uh what's the name of your your buddy from college or whatever? Um his name's Zarnak. Zarnak? Zarnak. 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 Have that was a, a that was a few years ago. He's only human, so he might be a little bit older by now. But um, when you say a few years ago was an elf, what does that mean? Uh, you know, I, I, if I'm being totally honest, I haven't really been keeping track of the. I spend I... a lot of time in my tower to my you know keep to myself. So this this man may be dead. Well, who's to say? <laughs> <laughs> it could have been 30 years, maybe a couple more. Uh, I mean, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. Well, at the very least, if he has passed, if it's been his life's work, perhaps he has uh, writing on the matter. Uh, writing on the matter? Like, I'm sure he kept research and journals oh, yeah, and things. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, he had a sanctuary. Uh, he always told me about his sanctuary. He was very proud of it. It had a whole bunch of knowledge and information about the Nine Hells that he was very proud of collecting. Like, is it like his sanctuary in Baldur's Gate, or did he have a sanctuary elsewhere? It's not too far, just a small village a bit south. Where, where, what's the name of the village? That's a good question. Let me just check my notes. <laughs> okay. Plot it's the same village we just liberated. Oh my god. <laughs> it's Whisper I got a lot Pines. going on. <laughs> <laughs> We're going back. Oh god. You know, Aurelius would just whisper quietly to me, you know, after hearing what Octanon said about this this thing that you have that can contain the souls this may be a little sinister from somebody from me but if we were able to contain this dark this gray wasting thing and pass it on to eldritch valtor as punishment <laughs> well that's weird it, it, it looks like they changed the name on this map and just like pulling up this is a newer map <laughs> used to be called something else, uh, and now it's called Gloomhaven Hollow. A little bit odd. Interesting. I swear I remember it being something different before. What was it? Oh, well, um, it's right there. It says Gloomhaven Hollow. I swear Do you have any place. older maps, or is this the only map you have? Um, it's, I, well, I think I might have some in my tower, but... Are you willing to part with this map? Oh yes, of course you can have that one. I, I okay. usually keep my most up to date maps. Travel. Thank you. Cool. Thank you very much. So, what do you think? You feel you feel up to giving a little karma? <laughs> it's certainly an option. If our only option is for this thing to eventually get out and get to someone else, and we've got no other way of stopping it, I don't see why not uh, uh, giving him a little taste of... His own medicine. Uh, yes. On the... Um, I think our only issue, though, is does he even have a soul? Of course he has a soul. Do devils he seems so bent on getting other souls. I don't know much about devils, so I'm what, not sure. What even is a soul? What even is a soul? Does this unit have a soul? <laughs> mm. 
I sure hope he has a soul because. You want to put him in the box? No, kind of. I want. I want to. I want to give him the gray wasting. Oh. Yeah. Fuck. If we like collect the gray wasting and then we force his soul in there, so the gray wasting is like, mmm, yummy dinner. You know, just casual stuff. Well, you see, as a fighter, I believe in karma, and karma is not a nice, not a nice deity. <laughs> okay, so, are we heading to this town right away? Is there anything else you need from us? I say to Act Tannen. There's nothing I need from you. Um, I just want to see you, uh, see you off, if that's quite all right. I, I, I've... I do feel like I owe you that much. <clears throat> oh, you don't owe us anything. You've done a great thing for us here. Are you kidding me? You guys saved me from that from that half dragon. Mm. Well, I guess you weren't there, but I no, you... technically I was off uh, doing other very important things. My <laughs> yeah. um, I've just got gold falling out of my pocket, <laughs> <laughs> which will come in useful. Yeah, it, that's true. Money can be exchanged for goods and services, I have been told. I mean, the last time we last time exactly. we came into significant wealth, we spent it all in Baldur's Gate on some new gear. Yeah. <laughs> well, if you need new gear again, I know it's been a couple days, but <laughs> <laughs> I can provide. <laughs> Maybe we can go get those matching jackets. <laughs> <laughs> Before we go, uh, Kavari, I hand her like three pieces of gold. Would you mind mending my great sword, please? It's looking a little dinged up. It's not all that's looking a bit dinged up. She looks pretty injured. Oh. <laughs> and she's Does she like, need a healing potion? Should I give her a healing potion? Um, I'm all right. You you look like you need it more than me. I'm fine. You should see the other guy. <laughs> Something tells me the other guy he doesn't uh, walk this earth anymore. That's correct. Well, she, well done. She lifts We're up so... the hammer that she's been banging on this artifact this whole time. <laughs> uh, it's, yeah. it's starting to be like covered in like sweat and a bit of dragon blood. <laughs> and it, it, it lights up with a bit of electricity and she hammers down on this, this artifact one more time and it shatters across the floor of the, uh, of the forge. She's like, uh -oh. oh no! I just swept up the place. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, what did you expect was going to happen? A break in two or something? Oh, at least it's gone. What am I supposed did to it just vaporize into oh, powder? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You just said there was electricity before? Did oh, I... yeah, yeah. Her, her hammer like, lit up in, in a bunch of electricity. Oh, she's a blue half dragon, though, right? That's correct, yes. yeah. Oh, okay. We're all blue. We all, we all have power of the electricity. Oh, you know what? Well, so you've done a fine job destroying that thing then. Is that not what you expected it to do, though? Well, uh, I, I'll admit I wasn't expecting it to break so spectacularly. Spectacularly. Sorry, it's been a long day. That's okay. <laughs> Can I... I have trouble with words, too, sometimes. Can Neve, like, I don't know, scoop up a bit of this vapor? Or, the, like, what it broke into. Sure, you do that. Um, Why don't you just do wind magic and blow it away? When... Oh, thanks for helping me clean up. <laughs> oh, yeah, of course. Uh, that's what I was doing. Yeah, I just cast <laughs> Gus <laughs> into like a little sack so I can hold on to it, I guess. Uh, do you mind if I, I take this with me? I'm rather curious about it. I suppose. It's just powder now. I don't it's usable. What am I supposed eh, to tell that Harper? He told me he wanted to keep it. Oh, does he want these bits then? I'm sure it's fine, it's Powder. I'll tell him I destroyed it. <laughs> or you, or you could say you couldn't find it. Seems a little honest. Can't say that I'm interested in lying to someone who's renowned as a Harper. I hear they do good things. Just say you found it and then you lost. It. That's, 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 that's technically not false. Yeah. Well, that's I guess true. that's true. 
Does this um, um, Harper know a lot about this artifact? He only knew that Actanin may know and that it was potentially able to control dragons and he wanted to make sure it didn't fall into the wrong hands. Well, it's not going to fall into anybody's hands anymore. That's, there you go. Yeah, I guess, I guess not. You know, do I know anything about, um, I don't know, from my past as a Have you watched the criminal... Dark the Dragons movie? No, <laughs> from my past, yeah, I has my character seen the Dungeons and Dragons movie? Um, do, do I know anything about, um, since she was sort of in the business of, like, black market sales of, like, magic items and shit, because pirate? Yeah, you can... Have I ever heard of magic items just, um, breaking into, like, powder, or, like, um, does that seem odd to me? It would need to be from, like, a considerable amount of power. Oh. Or maybe, like, some kind of particular reaction with the artifact that causes it to break in such a spectacular way. Uh, the hammer that you use on this, is it is it magical in any means? Uh, are you casting Detect Magic? On her? Uh, no, I'm just asking her if it's magical. Oh. Well, I'm not sure if it's magical you know? or not, but it would... He kind of lays it down on the anvil and says, Left to me by my father. I get a bit sad. Oh. I... Very sorry for your loss. Well, um, I never really knew him. Right, but I think we can still feel guilt over the loss of people, and maybe more so the guilt that you never got to know them in the first place. Uh, I'm not here to tell you my story right now. You have your own story to tell right now, don't you? I think that you might want to, um, uh, if, if it's not something you're capable of doing, maybe have your friend Ektan in here take a closer look at it. I've seen uh, or heard of magic items being destroyed in such a manner, but usually it, it's because the tool that was being used was so powerful. There might be more to that hammer than, than meets the eye. Well, um, I guess I'll ask her next time. I think we're scheduled to, you know, hang out and have some beers later on. <laughs> I'll bring your hammer. Ask her. Seems like a talented caster. <laughs> After we can't settle over a few pints. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I'll uh, look into that. And if you ever want to talk about my, my family history, I'd be more than happy to share, but it seems like you're busy right now. Well, um, well that, that's right, we do have some, some business to get to, but if we're yes. ever back in town, uh, I think we all wouldn't say no to a pint. <laughs> oh, well, You've been mighty we'll be helpful back. to us. Well, when you come back, I'd be more than happy to, to share a drink with you. That's the date, then. You're always welcome at the forge. Baboja. Baboja? Diboja. <laughs> Baboja. What does this what mean? What now? Sprechen die Deutsch? Sprechen die Deutsch? See. That's just verboten. Well, darn. That's all I know. Yeah. That's all I know. <laughs> no, but, and but, but, die Unionist drinking das Milk. Oh, darn. Like the no, kids I'm... are drinking milk. <laughs> why, why do you know the kids are drinking milk? I was, I did, I did do a lingo for a hot second, and that was the one sentence that they were like, "You have to know this." <laughs> <laughs> and das ist verboten is from when I was in Germany. There's a lot of no parking signs that say das ist verboten. Das ist verboten. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, um. <laughs> Maintenant, va continuer à parler en français. <laughs> such a scary language. <laughs> I actually like um, how they don't have a word for goodbye. I think it's very sweet. Mm, oh, it's uh, a Vita's in. See you again so, or something. Will I see you next time? Very sweet. Uh, anyway, <laughs> uh, what are you guys up to? <laughs> I guess, well, I guess if we're done here, it's time to start heading south. To Gloomy Hollow. Gloomy Hollow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, isn't that what it's called? Gloom, 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 Gloom Haven. Haven. 
Okay. Oh, okay. Well, I hope it's... Do you think it'll actually be gloomy there? We'll find out. I hope not. I hope not either. All the places we've been, been kind of gloomy. Except, yeah. for, except for the Feywild. Feywild's cool. Oh, it was pretty cool. Baldur's Gate wasn't too bad. Yeah, I can see what the hype is about. You've been getting... It does carry the gloom of capitalism, though. <laughs> the gloom of capitalism. That's fair, yeah. Yeah. The smog of urban development. <laughs> of gentrification. <laughs> uh, you, you travel south for a while, and you eventually come up on a very unkept road. And you see a sign posted that says, um, Verdant Vale ahead. It is super duper old, falling apart. Verdant Vale? Verdant Vale, yeah. The first wow. Verdant Vale. <laughs> Bless Excuse me. She did say that this is a new map and that this village has an odd name. Maybe this is the same place that we're going to. Can we cross-reference the map to make sure? Yeah, it's the same place. Okay. Sorry, what I was the name on the yeah. sign? On the sign it says Verdant Vale. Well, that gives a very different energy. So then why did they change the name to Be Hollow? Maybe to attract more tourism? <laughs> to attract but, more tourism? Well, if it were tourism, I'd be like Happy Hollow or Bright Sunny Day Hollow or something like that, you know? You want Maybe they're to... leaning into their goth tendencies. Oh, I hear that's all the rage these days. I mm -hmm. have heard. The lack of faith concerns me these days now. <laughs> As you walk and talk, you come up on this place. Oh dear! <laughs> oh, uh, this this looks like oh. the old fort. I get why it's called Gloomy Hollow now. It looks like the old fort. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you see, old, overgrown building. It's just abandoned. It's like e no sign of life here. Is it just me, or am I suddenly at unease? Hmm. Somehow that tells me we're in the right place. So, <laughs> unfortunately, in our line of work. My goodness. Hello? Anybody home? Uh, echo, a... echo, echo, yeah. You know what, Alex? You did, you did the GMing for me there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm two steps ahead, always. No. Okay. Hey, even the middle doesn't have a wheel. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, sanctuary, huh? Maybe we yeah. go to that big tower that's right there. Yeah, where there was a mill on the water. Oh, it's just now it's just a water hutch. There's a water hut. <laughs> The wheel's gone. Blasphemy. Uh, this place has been thoroughly looted, it seems. What do you do? What do you do? Yeah, that tower seems like the only um, sort of intact thing. Is this where is this where this um this gentleman that Octanon was mentioning was supposed to be? Uh, he had a sanctuary here, but we don't like how long ago. That was though. Well, I'm no expert on what sanctuaries look like, but I have a feeling that this tower over here looks promising. Yeah. Might as well go in that direction. I think the gentleman's name was uh, Zarnak. Yeah, that's the one. Zarnak! <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> that's all I could think of. Was just. I. Well, what else are we gonna do? You could roll yeah. investigation if you want. Oh, well, sure. I guess that's an option too, eh? Yeah. Okay. I guess well, I'll do it for the hell of it. With Why my not? zero intelligence, of course I'll do that for you. With my negative two intelligence? That's a seven. That's, oh my god, what the heck? 
Look at you go. Hey. Look at all these dirty 20s we're getting. Yeah. Go us. It's a good day. <laughs> so I got distracted by a spider. No, you rolled a 22. Ooh. What is it, investigation? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Alright. Oh, oh, no. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you so, go. So Double ne minus one. So uh. Neve, Neve is distracted by this powder that she's collected from this artifact, and Norkelia is just screaming into the village hoping to get a response. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you, 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 maybe you think that knocking on doors is a good idea or something. I don't know. <laughs> Um, Sorry, spider fell on my arm. Aurelius, as you approach the tower, you actually can tell. You, you look at the at the dirt, and you can see like where people have actually walked relatively recently. Mm. One of you actually see some loose tiles out of this place. Mm. Looks like there's some sort of mechanism that will actually open up some sort of trap door. Hey guys, I think we found. I think I found it. It over here, in here. Hey, if you say so. Uh, you said it's being held together by a mechanism. Yeah, there's some like sort a... of mechanism. Like there's this, these loose tiles. They look like they, they've been moving. You can tell by like how the mm -hmm. seams are like, kind of flawless. There's not a lot of dirt by them uh, compared to the rest of the place. I think that they could probably open up. Is there a lever? Is, is there a lever or a wheel that I could move? Uh, you see some bookshelves and just around. Hmm. You don't see any levers. Super obvious. I believe I believe this is the sanctuary, but I don't know how to open it. Well, um, hmm. I guess I just try to push on it and see what happens. Um, you push on the trap door. Wait, uh, is this on the, is this on the ground or the yeah, wall? Yeah, it's on the ground. Oh, was there a handle? <laughs> I could just go. Oh, here you go. <laughs> Like step on it. Is there a lock? No, it, it doesn't seem to have a lock or anything. It's just like you can tell, like when you tap your foot up against it with your metal boots, that it's actually hollow underneath. Tiles are not. It makes a different sound when you step on it. Mm. And does this look like an entrance to us, or does it look like um like a like a trap to deter people? It it's, it doesn't look like a trap. It looks like an entrance. It looks Ooh, like a trap right. door. With a 20, you can tell it's definitely an entrance. Ooh. Um, okay, well, I'm gonna try and open it, I guess. And pull on it, if I can. Um, uh, roll strength. Okay. This is gonna be some heavy-ass door, I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> okay, where is Drain? Oh, man. 14 is enough to tell that you really shouldn't be pulling on it. <laughs> you're really, you're, you're pulling it. more of a push to open situation. You're, you're pulling it you, you, in all these different ways. You manage to get a decent grip, but it just doesn't seem to want to budge. Well, that's not working. Let's try the other way. Or wait, does it slide? Oh. I guess I'll try and push on it first, and if that doesn't work, then I'll try and slide it. Just in, around you in this room, there's a, a, a some empty bookshelves, and there is some torches. Hmm. I don't have a map for it. Hey, one of you look over there at those bookshelves, see if there's something that I'm missing. Can I draw a map for you guys? Can I go uh, take a look at the, at the, the shelves? And... <clears throat> and I guess you could just... Alright, we can do some alone. 5D gaming. Yeah. Here's your, the room. Here's a torch here. Torch here. I mean, <laughs> it, here and here. There's like a bookshelf here. 
And then this, like, the trap door. Hmm. Do you see anything at the shelf over there? Maybe a uh, key? Yeah, I'll go look at the shelf more closely. Uh, the shelf looks like it hasn't been touched in, in like, ten years. It's, Oof. it's like, empty. There's, all the books have been looted away from it. Is it quite dusty in here? It's super dusty, yeah, but somebody's... Is there anywhere where the level of dust is slightly lower than the rest? Uh, no, it's all... This is dusty. Gotcha. See a little spider out there. Oh, hello, little guy. How are you doing? You know how to get in here? Do you speak with animals? I do not. <laughs> I was just hoping he'd understand <laughs> my vibe. Uh, <laughs> you tried so hard. He does a little dance, I, did. I guess. Aww. <laughs> I like this guy, he's a performer. Oh, <laughs> uh, what do spiders like to eat? Bugs. Bugs. Okay, uh, well, I don't have bugs. But... I'm sure you can find one in this Could I find a, a bug? <laughs> There's some flies buzzing around. Okay, alright. Um, I'm gonna direct one into the spider's web. <laughs> uh, you direct a, a bug into spider's web and it gets uh, it's so wholesome up in, in, in the web it, 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 hey. the spider has, takes a nice little little bow <laughs> Aww. I you. like you you're wonderful but enjoy your meal sorry for bothering you wrapping up the fly in its <laughs> really fascinating how they do that <laughs> that's beautiful work that is anyway what was I supposed to be doing over here I've made do a friend. See, do you see anything <laughs> to open this door? Oh, right. Sorry. <laughs> I've named him Jimmy, by the way. This is wee Jimmy. I'm glad you're making friends with the I locals, hope he didn't but... have another name before that. <laughs> um, <laughs> right, yeah, I'll look at this bookshelf. I'm glad you're making friends with the locals, but I can't get this door open. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. It's going to be like an Intelligence 5 spider. Aw, I like him. I like five. wee Jimmy. Five is not zero. That's right. That's true. Good for him. Not quite um, intelligent enough to speak languages. <laughs> well, he has eight legs. I'm sure you can teach him sign. <laughs> Anyways. That's true. Um, am, I, am I seeing anything of interest on this bookshelf? No. No. Maybe the torches. I mean, outside of Jimmy, of course. Yeah, but. obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jimmy was the most interesting thing on the bookshelf. Jimmy was. Not Fuck really. Did you see anything of interest about those torches? Mm. Do I see anything interesting? I don't know. This... Rolled a, a negative one. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, it's up uh, to you. You can look at the torches. Okay. I mean, yeah, I'll look at the torches and be like, wow, it's so warm and bright. Uh, Just looking. <laughs> you notice that the torches look like the. They may have been lit in the not too fast. Hey, hey guys, these torches were probably lit in the not too fast. Oh. <laughs> oh. Maybe we just need to light them then. I'll press the digitation and just give them both a spark. Uh, there's four torches. Well, I'll, I'll give all four of them a spark. <laughs> uh, you light all four of the torches and you hear a loud clank and a oh. rumble. As the uh, the mechanism uh, gives way and the trap door begins to slide open. Meanwhile, I was leaning on it and I almost fallen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you were standing right there. <laughs> uh, revealing a stairwell leading down. Uh, 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 oh, oh, okay. Well, that's open. Seems we've sorted it. Well done. Team effort on that one. And can't forget Jimmy. Thank you, Jimmy. Okay. We couldn't have done it without Jimmy. Couldn't have done it. But we would have been it. stuck here forever. Top of the morning <laughs> to you, Jimmy. Uh, Jimmy packs up his, his fly in a little, <laughs> little bag. A <laughs> little uh, top boy. He <laughs> waves goodbye bag. as he carries on his adventure to you helping adventurers in need. <laughs> In mysterious ways. <laughs> wow. Oh, God bless Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyways, um. We begin the descent. Indeed.
I have a feeling when this door opened, a bunch of dust got emitted, so I'm like, oh, God. Uh, as you travel down and cough on the dust, I'm a very a relatively tight crossroads. There's a hallway going left and right. On the right hand side, you see um, a man with a with a mask on wearing a big old cloak, and he turns over to you as you're coughing and sneezing and looks right at you. <laughs> and then he like turns over and looks at a rope connected to a bell and then looks back at you and then looks over to the rope again and looks back at I you. I vortex warp him to towards us. Roll initiative. <laughs> 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 I imagine my spell does not go off before initiative. We're gonna find out. Oh wait, I can subtle spell. He sees you. Oh, God damn it! I'm, oh, still right. cursed. I'm still cursed with the low initiative rolls. Whatever. Ah, where's my where's my token? Oh, on the map layer. Oh, I got five. Welcome to the club. God dang it! On the map. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Wait. Well. Uh oh. Okay. It's fine. I, I can't get myself on the map. Click uh, and drag. Why not? Are you clicking dragging from the name or from the token picture? You gotta click from the name. It's weird. Oh, well, that it's, answers that question. It's Becky. Yeah, that's late. Sorry, no battle map just yet. Oh, that's what, I like the artistic drawing style in that. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's I'm sure it's pitch black down here. That's probably about what we could see. <laughs> roughly. Uh, uh, there it is. Boop. Oh, six. Yay. Nice. nice. What did you get before? We're on that? the ball. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, the cultist is going first. <laughs> Damn. God dang uh, it. Uh, the cultist runs for the bell and, and, and rings it, and you hear a sharp ting as the bell rings. Uh, and I guess that's an, that's an action. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. okay. And then starts running away <laughs> down okay. the hallway. <laughs> Get him. He's the message man. Get him. Get him. Well, he already sent the message. Yeah, he did already. Supposed to get message. some before they get. The Is message. the bell still ringing, or did it just make the one ring? The one ring. To rule them off. Ah. The uh. Well. Whose turn is it? Yours. Oh, it's your turn. It's my turn. I yeah. thought it was your turn. No, you have the higher decks. Do what? Do you? Yes. No, I Do think you? Aurelius does. Aurelius, what's your? What's, what's, yeah. Oh yeah, you're Mine? right. Aurelius does have the higher decks. My bad. My decks yeah. is one, man. <laughs> mine's fifteen. Hey, mine's thirteen. Yeah. Okay, With you, the you win, Aurelius. I apologize for the. Oh hey, ladies first. But, um. You're gonna hold so your action to be a gentleman. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> not the time. <laughs> we'll have a discussion about gender roles later. Now is not the time. No. Well, I mean, if this guy is running away, I mean, shoot. Okay. Yeah, shoot. Go ahead and shoot. <laughs> I mean, okay. Fine. I mean, do whatever you'd like. I'm just gonna use a crossbow, though. Nothing too. That's nothing it. Too just crazy. a crossbow. Well, I don't want to kill him. Or Why not? Severe, severely injure him. And a 19 for 6. That's a hit. Okay, I'm aiming for his leg. You get him in, in the back of the leg, and he goes, ah! And he starts limping. <laughs> Ouch! Oh, no. I mean, <laughs> not my other knee! <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I'm glad somebody made the joke. Well, I mean... Ah. I'll do it again. <laughs> what? <laughs> I have, two, I have two actions, remember? Uh, yeah. you're, you're calling it to wound him, so he, even though he's technically dead after that second action, he's he's just on the ground. Ah! My my legs! Yeah, I'm just I'm just trying to stop him. I'm not trying to kill him. 
But I killed him already with those two. Yeah, well, he's he's on the ground now. He's just a cultist. Oh. Okay, well, there you go. He's writhing in pain on the ground, trying to crawl away from you. It's fine, we got a cleric, it's fine. Do you want me to heal him, <laughs> or are we gonna, like, ask him? Then well, let's, let's get him first. Okay. And, okay. I, yeah, I, am I allowed to move if I do two actions, or does one of my actions count for movement? No, you, yeah. you're good. You can just walk over to him. Like, uh, we're technically out of combat, but I'm just gonna hold on to the initiative for later. Okay, well, that's what I'm gonna do. Walk over to him. I guess grab him by his uninjured ankle and drag him back to us. What do you want? Why are you here? You're not supposed to be here. Ow, my legs! <laughs> <laughs> we're, um, we're here to speak with uh, a gentleman by the name of Zarnak. We were mm -hmm. sent this way. Does he reside here? Zarnak? Of course he's here. He's our leader. What do you what do you want with Zarnak? Well, then why did you freak out when guests arrived? I, we're not we're just here to, to have, talk, buddy. We're, we're not supposed to have guests. We don't usually do the talking. Right. Well, um, okay. You might want to start. <laughs> well, what do you want to talk about? <laughs> he just like puts up his arms. Take us to your leader. I'm just an intern. <laughs> oh, I feel bad now. <laughs> I'm an unpaid I, Son, I'm sorry I shot you in the leg, but I'm telling you right now, it's not too late. This is not the life you want to live. Tell us what you tell us what we want to know, and I'll set you free. Uh, diplomacy? No. Advantage? No, it's no not, diplomacy. It's, it's not worth it. No, do you want to roll the diplomacy? That's oh. what you're doing. You're. <laughs> He's telling you. Oh no, I'm I'm the GM telling you to roll diplomacy. Is that even a thing? Yes, it's a thing. Yeah. Oh, that's concerning that you don't know that's a thing. <laughs> well, where do I roll for that? You click the button diplomacy. Well, we don't have a diplomacy in 5e. Do you mean persuasion? Oh my god, persuasion, yeah. I'm thinking about 5e <laughs> or 4e. 4e, there was diplomacy. Ah. Uh, yeah, persuasion, pers sorry. Persuasion. 17. There you go. Well, you know what? I, I've always wanted to be a botanist. There you go. <laughs> maybe That's not in this town. Seems like things are a little dead here. I maybe go a bit north. Well, you know, we're just here, like, all trying to just be like the boss, you know? He he made a deal. He got a lot of power. Uh, oh. Uh, yeah, all of us at the same time. <laughs> yeah, we all just... Oh, God. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Carthy yeah. fucking did. I can't catch a break. Um, by the name of Bahamut himself, I swear this devil's gonna get it. I'll be honest, I was never really much of a fan of him or his dogs, so, you know, um, if, you, if you're cool letting me go, I mean, I'll, I'll leave. You'll never hear from me again, I swear. Well, tell us what we want to know first. Where, where is, where is he? Oh, well, you just take this this path that I was running down, and you take a left, and, and just walk on, the, like, the, the very, like, you're pretty big, so just, like, put your back right up against the wall, and walk really close to the wall to avoid the traps that we laid out, and uh, he'll be in his, uh, he'll be in his sanctuary just hanging out, usually, that's what he does, he just sits wow. there, and, and he puts himself in chains, and speaks in Infernal or something, I don't know. Kind of you know lost who... his, lost it a little bit. Do you know who he made the deal with? Um, yeah, of course I know. Is it, uh, Valtor? Oh yeah, that sounds familiar. Ah. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now one more thing. After you rang that bell, how many of others are aware of our presence now? Oh, yeah. Sorry about that. I guess I got a bit ahead of myself there. <laughs> Um, I guess everybody well, here. <laughs> I mean, I can respect that you were doing your job, but it's, you can see how that's a little inconvenient, eh? For us. Yeah, well, you know what? Um, it wasn't even really worth it, because they don't even have dental here. Oh, they don't even have dental? I'm so... Well, you know what? Norkele, would you mind making this man well so we can... 
and they go on the path of righteousness instead. You got it. Cool. I'm going to cast. Here we'll... Do that. His legs are, are mended. Oh, my gosh. Actually, before you do that, I my... just yank out both my bolts at the same time. And he starts, like, lapping his lips and goes, oh, my gosh, my ulcer's gone. <laughs> well, that's probably yeah. It makes sense that he had an ulcer. Seems like a stressful situation. <laughs> Batteries drinking too many acidic things. <laughs> well, we don't get a lot of sun down here, so so I like to have some some citrus juice, you know, from time to time. He'll do it. Need that vitamin D. I know, right? They all think I'm crazy. <laughs> Very well, you. You have sustained your part of the deal. We have sustained ours. Do not go up behind us. You will regret it. I swear. You got it. I wouldn't. I wouldn't dare. Okay. Here, you, you can have this. I, I quit. And then he throws his dagger on the ground. All right. Off oh. with you. Thank you. Now off with you. Whatever would we have done without this dagger? <laughs> here, here, Norkele, you can have this. Oh, cool! A cultist dagger. <laughs> Thanks, an Did avocado. <laughs> hey, if we need to use you as bait, you can blend in. I'm, jo I, I'm joking. I was gonna say, if anybody should be bait, it should be Neve. She knows how to talk her way out of everything. That's true, I am really good at talking. Yeah. Maybe too good. Yeah. Also, sounds like this fella made a, uh, a bit of a contract with Lord Eldrick Veltor or Vorganax, whichever we prefer. Uh, uh, maybe we shouldn't let on that we know his name. Do we think that's anything? Veltor? Like, say his name? Just well, well, we found out that his, his devil name is Vorganax. Okay. So they I don't do. know if he wanted us to know that. Ancient text has said if you say a demon's true name, it becomes weakened and you have control over it. But it's a devil, huh. not a demon. It's the same thing. It's is different it for reasons I can't explain. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, well, it sounds like he's made a, a pact with this being, and and we did learn that if we, um, you know, sort of get rid of uh, anyone who's made a pact with him, we weaken him. So I think we got to take this guy out. All right, let's clean house. Time to do time to do some extermination, and then we'll just have to hope that he's scared enough uh, to uh, allow us to interrogate him, or we'll just steal all of his life's work. We are doing we are doing the we are doing this for the greater good. It doesn't mean we have to do it the right way. Uh, okay, I'm gonna disagree with you there. <laughs> <laughs> You know, they say true goodness comes from the intent of the heart, but not by the actions of oneself. But I don't know. We'll, we'll discuss this over a pint sometime. <laughs> 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 That's not the type of philosophical discussion. Our Julia's like, I'll explain a moral <laughs> compass to you guys at a later time. I, we don't have time for that. <laughs> I have plenty of moral compass, but I also have an agenda. <laughs> That's true. Pulls out. Well. Agenda. I mean, if we keep sitting here any longer, <laughs> we're just sitting ducks at this point. So okay. let's let's follow the okay, path. Such a random focus. note, but y'all are Canadian kids too. Do y'all remember the agenda we would get from school that had the crazy yeah. textured cover, and you would just like DJ on the front of it? Yeah. <laughs> like, have, okay, you know, we do it. Parents had to sign it. Mm -hmm. Yes. Every day. I still have some of those somewhere. Those those covers were amazing. They were like holographic and like textured. Oh. Yeah, back when the school system actually put some effort in. I know, right? <laughs> okay. Anyway. Anyways. Uh, go to an obvious ambush that you're being expected. Yeah, should we? I mean, we know we're walking into an ambush. Should we maybe do something to uh, just help us out a bit? Well, he did say walk along the wall to avoid the traps. Right. Um. I, I'll, I also, also, I forgot to tell you that I, I I got some winnings from my out uh, or my outing to the the fighting ring. Um. Not only did I get a lot of gold, I got some potions. Um, so I do have some uh, potions of healing. I still um, have one too, so are we good? Oh, wonderful. Um, uh, a potion of invisibility and a potion of resistance. I don't know, the invisibility thing could be a thing. Maybe sneaking in or something. 
It's definitely something we could keep in mind. All right. Well, just thought I'd put it out there. I know none of us are particularly stealthy, but... Hey, I'm quite surprisingly stealthy. That's true, actually. For such heavy armor, you do move quite light-footed. I'm, I'm also a trickster. I could also cast a... I have a couple could... of different ways. I also have that orb that makes me invisible. Whatever. Oh, yeah. Or, or no, the cloak. It's the cloak. The cloak mm -hmm. right. Invisible. right, 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 right. All right, so that's something there. We could try. So, gr have... so great. You go invisible, you go invisible, and I just hope to God that my twinkle toes are quiet enough. <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> I mean, I can also cast... I have lots of stealthy spells if you need anything. I also have, I also have um, um, <clears throat> disguise self, too. That's useful. Oh, you could just disguise yourself as that gentleman that we've just sent off to be a botanist. <laughs> yep. As long as nobody touches me, we're good. And you've got the dagger. Mm-hmm. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Okay, it's settled. <laughs> I wonder what kind of traps would activate if we if we did. <clears throat> uh, you you uh, sneak across the wall. Uh, how many of you are invisible? Uh, I think. We're gonna do it when we get a bit closer. Right. You yeah. do get a bit closer. You see the, uh, you, <clears throat> you go through the the traps. You know where they are, so you get them uh, down these uh, hallways that are relatively narrow. And you know, for a big boy, I'm surprisingly flexible. <laughs> you come to this uh, big steel door. Okay. Oh, well, this is the problem. Well, okay. Maybe one of us goes in disguised as that uh, that gentleman we, we we ran into at the beginning there, and just say, "Ah, crazy! They'd lost their way and they left." False alarm. Sorry, Two of us sneak in invisible, okay. and we just sort of ambushed them. That's all I've got. Okay. Um, well, you're pretty stealthy, right? You got stealth ability? I do. And I have this potion of invisibility. And then Aurelius, I can. I also have Blessing of the Trickster. You can touch an ally as an action to gain to grant it advantage on stealth checks for one hour or until you use this ability Ooh. again. Uh -huh. And then I also have Pass Without a Trace. But Pass Without but... a Trace only works if you guys are within like my... But here's the thing, though. How? Who's the one that's gonna volunteer as the dummy? Well, I have disguised self, so, so I can. It's not a disguised person. Yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, I guess I'll have to take advantage of that trickster spell then. Okay. Yeah, that's just... great. Yeah. And then, yeah, you can disguise yourself as as that guy to at least. Um... It'll get get us with the door open, basically. <laughs> get us in. And maybe, if I'm lucky, I can roll that awesome intimidation roll again and just be like, "You want to go?" go? I'll never forget. I'll, ne I'll never forget that roll. That was so nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right before we're about to go in. Um, is the sky self concentration? No. Uh, you make yourself, including your clothing, armor, weapons, and other belongings, on your person look different until the spell ends or until you use your action to dispense it. You can seem one foot shorter or taller. You can appear thin, fat, or in between. You can't change your body type, so you must adopt the form that has the same basic arrangement of limbs. Otherwise, the extent of the illusion is up to you. But he's like a humanoid, so... Yeah, so it shouldn't be an issue. Cool. Yeah, okay. as long as nobody tries to touch me or anything like that, we're fine. Because then they'll just go right, right, in right. Areas that are fake. Okay. 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 Uh, to just concern that you are disguised, a creature can use its action to inspect your appearance and must succeed on an intelligence investigation check against your spell DC save. <clears throat> well, let's hope to God that these guys are not that intelligent. Right, okay, and then just another uh, point of, um, are we, so we're gonna go in all stealth, 
do our best, um, but are we going to just immediately start flinging spells, or are we going to try... You said you wanted to try and intimidate them. Do you want to talk to them? Hmm. Honestly... Hmm. What, what do you think is better? Do we, should we trap them and give them no option, or try and go in there and assert dominance? Because I'm, I can do either or. But I also don't know what mysteries lie behind this door. Right. Okay, well, how about we go in, you disguised, us stealthing slash invisible. We get in there, get a read of the situation. And then I have the ability to uh, um, speak in your mind. Oh, then it so should have been you. Once we get in there, then. that. I'll just sort of touch base with us all and be like, all right, what are we reading here? What do we want to do? And then we'll go from there. Well, first thing, Achilles, you should notice is that if you see anything obvious, that could be a threat. And subtly point it out. We need, like, a hand sign. We need a hand yeah. sign. Yeah. Yeah, or a code word. Or a code word. Can I think I back to the, the, the guy that rang the bell that we sent on his merry way? Did he have any... He seemed like a nervous guy. Did he have any nervous tics that I noticed? Uh, not really. He just seemed pretty nervous about the whole being you know, grappled by a dragonborn after having his leg shot. Sure. <laughs> I guess he also seemed kind of new. Maybe it was his first month. Oh, all right. I, I did my civil duty and brought him on the path of righteousness. <laughs> I made him an honest man. I have a question. We may have an answer. Does does disguise self change my voice? It would make sense. Okay, cool. I'm just making sure because yeah, that's it. Okay, cool, awesome. All right, because uh, I'm trying. To... It's still the same DC. So if they roll the DC, like if they make the uh, wisdom perception check, then. You can see or the wisdom uh, sorry the investigation yeah okay cool i just wasn't sure if it also changes but okay um Magic spell, also whatever. the so the potion of invisibility makes me invisible for an hour so we could roll in there um and and i could you know circle around and get a read of the room while you're distracting them as this guy and if I have a good stealth roll, like just stay hidden in the corner. Yeah, like just yeah, be ready to to strike, but you know, staying be out of to... view. I'm predator stalking its prey in the sh in the shadows. <laughs> <laughs> yes. With my with my glowing dragon eyes in the darkness. <laughs> Ooh. <That's> Anyways, scary. <laughs> intimidation roll. There you go. All you see is eyes. Oh. Oof. That's actually right. really scary. When you look into the <laughs> darkness and only see his eyes, that's that's terrifying. Oh, I I hope I get to I don't roll intimidation. No, if um any of you have ever watched Dimension Twenty, but there's uh or was it? No, it was actually the like the one that Brennan Lee Mulligan ran for Critical Role, and he described how someone was able to discern that an invisible person was in the room, and it's so creepy because he's like. You know, you realize in this moment that someone who is invisible, in order for them to be able to see their pupils, would need to still be there. And so in the darkness, you see just two floating pinholes <laughs> for pupils. <laughs> <laughs> and, and that's how this person on their crazy perception roll was able to discern that there was an invisible person in the corner. It was so freaky, though. I was, like, watching it in the dark. I'm like, oh, oh, God. <laughs> Turn on the lights. That's pretty cool. Yeah. It is really cool because it it makes sense. You you cannot if you're invisible, your pupils would still need to be able to take in light for you to be mm -hmm. able to see. Yeah, very cool. Anyways. Anyway. All right. I think we got it sorted, right? Yeah. yeah. Good. Everybody, we'll do our up. best. <laughs> everybody, everybody, huddle up because I need to touch you, Narkelia, so the spell will work. Okay. Great. One, two, three, go, t go blue team. <laughs> go blue team. <laughs> like, a, like all hands in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 
That's how we always do it. All hands in, and then I cast Blessing of the Trickster. Incredible. And I will drink this potion of invisibility. Uh, and I will cast Disguise Self. The potion of invisibility, when tasted, begins with a cool, minty freshness. Mm. Then it's you with its electric zing. Uh, and it goes down Lee's lingering aftertaste. That is uh, like a, a warm and earthy kind of flavor. Like Ooh. green tea. Yummy. Yeah. Yeah, like uh, like tea. That's it's nice. Okay, pray for me. Here comes the spell <laughs> roll. It's at advantage, but we'll see. You can do it. Oh, oh hell oh. yeah. Oh, yeah. There you go. <laughs> 22. See, like I said, I'm just a predator stalking its prey in the shadow. Hell yeah. Oh, that was lucky. All right. We'll follow your, your lead. Okay. I hope there's not a secret knock or anything. Okay. <laughs> well. I'm going to, in my manly, manly self, because I'm a man, I'm going to open the door. Like a man. But you a nervous to... man. You a nervous who has an ulcer. <laughs> oh yeah, that's his only character trait is that he had an ulcer. <laughs> <laughs> he had an ulcer. <laughs> oh yes, I am man. Open door. <laughs> <laughs> that's how they open doors, right? <laughs> he was like, ah, I couldn't stop rubbing my tongue on it. <laughs> oh, it's like okay, the worst. So, so I'll I'll uh make it like I'll keep rubbing my tongue in like the same spot my to make it <laughs> That was just yeah, okay, got it. Really... Well, I'm trying to sell the character. All to right. People. All right, let me just uh Performance. let me just put you here. You see brandishing weapons and preparing for combat. Oh, oh my oh. gosh. These uh four cultists and this man uh wrapped in chains. Uh, in the center of the room, and uh, the cultists are like, Dennis! What the heck? Why are you ringing the bell? Uh, Don't forget your lines! <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, man, I'm sorry! Uh, I tripped on the rope by accident. You tripped on the rope? Yeah, I was I was looking for a place to pee, and I tripped on the rope by accident. You tripped on the rope that was like at your shoulder length, your there shoulder was a, height. There was a spider, and it was a really big spider. Oh my god! Roll deception. Add... Oh. <laughs> That's this is a really bad lie, though. I feel okay, like... I'm sorry. But Dennis <laughs> seems like a really like you know green guy, you know. <laughs> Although it sounds realistic for an Achilles character. Yeah. Okay, well, it's deception? Yeah. Also, while this is happening, can Neve be, like, moving farther into the room? Yeah, sure. Okay. How... Let, me put, let me put Mr. Pouncey on the, on the thing here, too. Oh, boy. They don't buy it. No, Dennis, to... tell me, why did you actually ring that bell? And they begin brandishing their scimitars and daggers. Well, actually, they were already brandishing them. Now uh, they're just brandishing them harder now. Well, I, I thought I heard something outside, so I rang it, and it turned out to be... Uh, Zarnak is going to squint his eyes and take a real close look at you. Oh boy. How do I roll stuff? Oh, I didn't put it in right. Okay, hang on a second, folks. Time out. No TV worries. Time. TV timeout. Is it investigation or perception? It's investigation. Investigation, okay. I see. Okay. Sorry, sorry NPC I... sheet was not completed. I'm sorry when I picked. Oh my gosh, I... she sucks. <laughs> oh. <laughs> he, failed. he totally failed. Oh, thank God. Well, you're oh. definitely lying. Well, 
but, but but you're definitely still Dennis. Okay. <laughs> he's the he's the probie. He's a new guy. <laughs> I mean, first day, out, like first month on the job, you know. Dennis, um, just admit that you accidentally pulled the bell. Because, all right. Because you thought you saw some people, but there wasn't anybody there. Okay, you got me. You're right. <laughs> There will be consequences for this, Dennis. No dinner for a week. Oh, no! Oh, God. <laughs> well. um, in both of your heads from Neve, you just hear, uh, could we just ride this out for a little bit longer, or as long as we can? Maybe get a sense of what's going on? Or do we want to pop off right now? No. I look I look over and where I think Neve is and I just give her a quick shake of the head, not yet. Alright. Okay, where would you where would you like me to stand, boss? For this thing that we're doing right now. <laughs> you can't speak telepathically back. No, I mean to the, the Oh, the sorry, guy. I thought you were talking to Oh, oh yeah, yeah. No, we like we had like a um a pre planned sort of like secret hand movement or something before because they can't mean, respond back to me where do i want you to stand get back on patrol you gotta you gotta you're supposed to be watching you're supposed to be out there watching and making sure that there's no you know treasure hunters coming by <clears throat> okay <laughs> well we can't have you leave <laughs> And try and convince them to send the other four up. But, uh... But what if there was something out there? Then you would ring the bell. I did ring the bell! <laughs> well, was there something out there? Well, I came back to get back up. So, you said that you didn't see anything. It all happened so fast. It all happened so fast! <laughs> <laughs> I need it back up. I can't fight treasure hunters by myself. We've been here. Maybe can we can, can we can we send a, a oh god? Maybe you can send one of your men to help me. With what? Well, what if there's a bunch of them? Ugh. Let's 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 grab some swords and make sure that there's no treasure hunters. T take take Drake with you. You both can go search. You, you both can go out. Go out into the into the village and just make sure there's nobody out and about. Just Drake? Just Drake. But Drake's kind of weak. Maybe we should send one more just in case. You like look over to Drake and he's like the buffest guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, what was that? <laughs> Does Drake even lift? What did you just say? <laughs> Do you know how much I brunch? I bench, bro. <laughs> how much I brunch, pet? How much I brunch? How much I eat brunch? I'm nothing but <laughs> pure gains, man. <laughs> He's like one of those bodybuilders that's like all bulk, so. Oh, uh, yeah. Magazines or whatever. I'm just sneaky, 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 sneaky over here. Yeah. Okay. Sneaky, sneaky. Stall, 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 stall. Okay, well, well, you guys are looking around. There's a bunch of cages with these burnt remains of skeletons. Like there's Ooh. these burnt oh. up skeletons out of all these cages. Oh, that's flattering. What I want to do is pounce all the way around here and jump him. Well, okay. E uh, Neve is going to say in your mind, uh, just if you guys could try not to get right in the middle of all of them, because all of my spells are sort of a uh, large area of effect, if you could let me get off one of those first before you jump in the way, that gave, would be amazing. I gave you a quick as in yes. Alright. <laughs> Meanwhile, in the shadow, you just see my eyes glowing. <laughs> oh, uh, Boss, quick uh, question. What happened? I'm just stalling. What happened to the last intern you guys hired anyway? <laughs> oh, well, I was trying to stall. Stall, stall, stall. stall. 
he was not <laughs> compliant with all of our policy gestures towards one of the cages as a skeleton. Hmm. What you policy know, I... did he break? Stall, 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 stall. Mm -hmm. He didn't bring enough um, sacrifices. He didn't bring us enough souls. I want you to stall so hard that I can't recover the airspeed. Panic, 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 panic. But you're a trickster. Just think of something. Oh. <laughs> Be funny. Be funny? Yeah. I can't you're... do it on command. <laughs> but you're so good at it. Somebody's measuring things. <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> Don't worry. About oh it. no, everyone's in the way, guys. Okay. You want me to like step back? Maybe, Maybe a bit. It. I don't want to hurt you. The two well, souls you brought were satisfactory for now, but you will have to go out and bring us more. Where the heck did oh. you go? Why are you like going that way? <laughs> you just went around the corner. No, here's the thing. If she's telling you to step back telepathically, say, "Okay, I'll take Drake. We'll go search the. We'll go search the area." Don't tell okay. people how to live their lives. <laughs> her character, man. Let her make her own choices. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's I'm so trying to. Nice. I'm trying to be helpful. It's all good. You're being very helpful because I'm. I have a performance anxiety. Apparently, I'm oh. a tracer with performance anxiety. <laughs> that's that's great. <laughs> Okay. Me and you are me and you are a tag team. We have to help each other. Yeah, man. Okay. Well, uh, hey, Drake, Draco, if you want to come with me, does anybody else want to come like help out? No. I mean, those treasure hunters usually have like some. We're in the middle of a ritual. And how long is this ritual gonna take? Is there anything else you need for the ritual? We have everything we need. Do you need any help? No, we don't need any help. <laughs> Is it okay if I take Draco, though? You're the... You're... <sighs> Fine, you can take Drake. Can I take another one? No, you just Drake. <laughs> you don't need that much help. It's just patrol. <laughs> okay, well... Well, that'll be your last words if I get ganked, and then you'll lose out on another intern. Just saying. Get ganked. <laughs> 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 We've lost so many. All right, take Drake, and then Drake starts stepping. To go back. Uh, as they, uh, as soon as Narkilia gets out of the way, um, I, I'm gonna get behind this guy, and uh, I am going to pass. Uh, uh. Oh god, sorry, what is it called? Pulse wave! Ooh. Ooh. It smells like I'm burnt. That's not good. Ooh. You create intense pressure on me shit in 35. Pull or push creature and objects. Take a 6d6 force damage. Oh my god. Ooh. <laughs> Jesus Christ. And they're not seeing that coming, so... Yeah. 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 And I would like to uh, push them away from me. Gotcha. Sort of into the surrounding walls. I assume these are walls. I don't know. Yeah, they're walls. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Should get all of them. Uh, my spell save DC is... 16, I believe. I gotta double check that though because I I feel like it was miscalculating last time. All right, what kind of saving throw was it again? Uh, X. Constitution. Plus. Constitution. Okay. And I have a blood well vial, so I think that um, it's actually seventeen. That'll be a 18 from Zarnak. Yeah, so it's actually um my spell save DC is a is a 17. Oh, he only beats it by one. 
Look at that. Didn't he get a 16? Read the devil's moon. Oh, no. <laughs> Sorry. Well. You have a boon, too, Nikalia. Yeah. All of the cultists them. failed. Oh, good. Oh, wait, no, I didn't yeah. one. Yeah. <laughs> okay, they all failed. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... I should probably roll... Is it the mod? Okay. Oh the ones that failed take 32 force damage they are and are all... pushed 15 feet away from oh, me. Oh, sorry, could you show me the cone again? Uh, yes. Uh, sorry, let me grab the measurement thingy. Doo -doo -doo. Well, I should just tell you um, that... Have you seen Peacemaker? Uh, I don't believe so. Have you? Okay, well... There's a scene where he's like does this force field explosion thing, and it, it, that's basically what happens here for anybody that's seen Peacemaker. <laughs> these guys. I'll have to look it up. You push all these cultists away, these four cultists, and they just uh, get blown into viscera as they just kind of <laughs> pop like balloons one by one and get splattered all over poor Norkilia. Ah! You're sorry. <laughs> You're in the splash zone. They are oh. so dead. It's I believe oh, this no. guy. This guy also <laughs> takes half damage too. Yeah, he's gonna be taking yeah. half damage. I'm gonna be. Hang on. <laughs> Which is this? Oh. Is that so, a three? Rest in peace, Drake. We barely is that knew you. This one? So that's the exact radius. So you did not hit these boxes here. Ooh. Okay. Uh, what should ooh. that be? <laughs> Oh, there's prisoners in the boxes. There might be prisoners. Uh, what's yeah, it was like damage? the perfect shape here for uh, 16, I think. That's wrong. <clears throat> Sorry, 16? Mm-hmm. God, that's a lot for half damage. Mm. Yeah, I rolled really well. That They were all over... Like, we're all four and above, and there was three sixes. <laughs> that was really good. I rolled, like, fireball damage, but with two less d6s. It was really good. Let's go, Neve. Let's go. I guess that arena <laughs> training did help you. Yeah. I've been getting my hours in. I've been crunching. Uh, Magical games. Zarnak yeah. puts his arms up, and his chains swell up and burn. And you can smell the scent of burning flesh as they burn into his skin and he slides uh. backwards from your force but uh, he's still standing and only takes half damage and he looks at the uh, the remains of his his followers and he has a scowl of anger on his face and he whistles <clears throat> and these two cages open up I don't think it's prisoners. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> I think it's more baddies. <laughs> and you see begin to growl and snarl and crawl out our oh. two hellhounds. Puppies! Ah. Oh, they're, Puppies. The, they're, they're at the bottom of the hell spectrum. We're fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna... I don't know. They got a breath weapon. We might want to be a little worried. <laughs> I have a breath weapon. <laughs> yeah, but they also there's two of them. Yeah, that's a lot of breath weapon damage to take each round. It'll be fine. It'll well, be I, fine. Guess, I guess I don't need to hide anymore. Let's put these guys into an in Well, if they haven't seen you yet, though, you might get advantage on your first attack if you. Oh yeah, I'm not jump. I'm not jumping out yet. Oh, just wait. It's gonna be good. It's okay. Neve can fly, and I can resurrect the dead. Good. Okay. Oh yeah, that's true. I just cast a spell. Can I just like go with my my ability just ten feet into the air from that? I guess so. Yeah. Are you still cool. invisible? No, it goes away when you cast a spell. Ah, uh, okay. Which I think that was worth it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh, they did really bad on initiative. Oh, you'd probably like us to roll initiative too, right? Oh yeah, let's uh, let's get initiative back on the board. Eh? Where'd my oh, seventeen go? Amazing. Oh, sorry, I just erase everybody. 
Uh, you, when you re-roll, I can just put your 17 back on there. Okay. Woohoo! How'd you do? I got 11 the next time. Well, hang on. Or are we keeping our scores from the last one, or rolling new? I'm keeping mine. Oh, well, okay. mine was a five. It was slightly better. So. <laughs> if it's I'll okay. Do okay, what, what are you going to do? It's your turn. Well... I'm still stealth and pounced. So are you going to hold your action or what? No, 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 no. This hellhound right here. This is back towards me. Yeah, actually, he's he's snarling and growling and looks like he's going to go towards your friend, the sorcerer. Sounds like the name of some kind of sitcom. Sure. <laughs> I'm sure it is somewhere. <laughs> what I'm going to do is I'm going to. I'm going to jump out right behind him with my great sword bared and <clears throat> see what happens. Oh, you give him a good old whack. With advantage, eh? But that, yeah. that's still 28. That was a really good... Yeah, I I jump out from my like prone position, well not prone, but like perched position, jump out with my great sword and while I'm soaring in his direction, slash down with the sword and attempt to grapple him, but maybe fail. <laughs> uh, well, you just hit him with your greatsword. Mm -hmm. uh, that was your action, eh? Yes, that was it. You cut him, you cut into the hellhound, um, and the gash reveals a bunch of fiery blood that spills out. And it takes the full four. Damage. And, and because I was because I was jumping towards him instead of running, do I land behind him or in front of him? Like, do I go over him? No, you're... you're well, where did you want to end up? Well, the, the point was to go, like, above him and try and grab him. But if I hit him with the sword, I guess I just go over him instead. And sure. land, right, like, land you, can, right. you can land wherever you want. Like, you were invisible. So you can be wherever you want to have been. You know what? For the way that I, I jumped, I'm right here. Okay, got it. Uh, you still have another action. Do I? Well, you, have, that... you have another attack. You're a fighter, you have two attacks. Actually, you know what? As I was jumping, as I jumped over the hellhound with my sword, I flip, land on my feet, and stomp and create a shockwave. Oh, okay. Oh! <laughs> I don't think it hits him, though. He's too far away. But it does hit this guy. Yeah, Points for style. What, pardon me? Points for style. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and he fails the save. Oh, what's the damage for that again? I forget. It's like 1d6 or something. Something like that. Read the boots. I'm reading the boots. Ah, da, 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 1d6, yeah. So two bludgeoning. There he goes. Good job. And, he, and, and he's, he's not prone. Yeah, he's prone. <laughs> Gotta spend half his move to get up, so there you go. Plus he's got and... a board on his head. Yeah, that's true. Yes, <laughs> yes he does. <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, I bow to you. That is my turn. I... Just so you know, when I jumped, I made this, like, terrifying roar sound from the just the sound of exhaling a certain amount of strength, and once I got... <clears throat> It was like a growl kind of thing. A little bit extra points for style there. Bravissima. And that's it. You did a great job. Good job. Oh, well, thank you. And points to Gryffindor. <laughs> I don't know what my house is in Harry Potter, so... It's the only one I can remember. Well. And Snakeran. Slytherin. Oh, that's what I said. And Hufflepuff and uh, what's the other one? Lionheart. Ravenclaw. Sorry, what Ravenclaw. Were, what were you saying about a breath weapon again? That I have one. 
Not you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that hellhounds have a breath weapon? Yeah, so about that. Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, they're gonna fire breath at you. Ah! While you're trying to float away. Eee! Is that a dexterity saving yeah, throw? That would be dexterity. Alright. You can do it. Yeah, the only reason I knew this was because in one of my other campaigns, my uh, one of my characters just got a um, a cursed cloak of the Hellhound. Um. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh, nineteen Ooh. fire damage. I don't well, know that's I more than half my health. Uh, I am going to cast uh, Absorb Elements. Oh, there you go. There you go. As a reaction. Oh. And take half of that. Eight. Uh, yeah, nine. Nine? nine Are we points. rounding down or up? Well, we always round down. Okay. Nine. Like, for everything, always round down. Okay. Okay. Nine. Nine. <laughs> And that's good. You can throw that right back in his face later. Well, he's probably immune to fire, but... <laughs> <laughs> well, Maybe I'll use it on the other guy. There you go. Or kill ya. Okay, I'm gonna... Uh, you see Zarnak is giving you the most stinky stink guy you've ever seen in your life. P.U. He's so mad. <laughs> Why are you giving me this thing? I haven't even done anything. I called the session Chains of Deception, but you guys were the ones doing the deceiving. <laughs> hey, it still fits. Yeah, it works. It still fits. <laughs> yeah. Hey, why? Hey, why? Uh, why are you giving me this thing? I haven't even done anything. I'm coming back to help. My goodness, I'm gonna pull up my crossbow. <laughs> are you still yeah, surprised? I'm, I'm gonna get the blue dragon guy. Just you watch, and I aim it at the hellhound. Oh, he's like, he's like so aware of your deception now. He knows you're, you're not working. <laughs> I was hoping I couldn't pass it off for incompetence, but... <laughs> uh, okay. That is... Uh... Seven plus four. That's going to be an 11 to hit the Hellhound. Well, E for effort. Uh, that is a miss. Oh, the arrow sails past the hellhound. It nearly hit me, and I'm joking. <laughs> oh no, it wasn't that bad of a roll. It wasn't a crew <laughs> fail. Uh, and then I'm going to cast, as a bonus action, I'm going to cast Healing Word on Neve uh, as a... I'm going to say as a level 2 Sorry, it says it uh, increases by 1d4. So it's 2d4. Raise by d4. So that's 2d4. Ooh! Eight, six. So that's. That's gonna be a tenorino for you, girly pop. Oh, thanks! I'm back to full. Did you say girly pop? Girly pop. Uh, yes. I mean, is that a thing that pop. people say? Yeah, yeah. girly pop. I've yeah. never heard that before in my life. I think it's an internet thing, probably, but... It's it's an internet thing, the most definitely. Yeah. Uh, is that your turn? Yeah, that is. That's my movement, my action, and my bonus. Here you go. Uh, this hellhound jumps to its feet and starts trying to gnaw at... Uh, um, the wrong name. <laughs> really do, you miss, miss. do you miss him? No. Are you sure? No. <laughs> Gives you a big old chomp uh, and misses. I hope I you don't that. break. I hope you don't break your teeth on my boots. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Zarnak, Mister Evil Name. <laughs> uh, the chains all over his body begin to heat up in into a hot red and he throws them towards um you Neve and summons these chains that appear around you 
How rude. Uh, roll a dexterity saving throw. Oh, I'm excellent at those. You can oh. do it. Well, Come on. You can, <laughs> you can do it. Fail, 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 fail. Oh! That would have saved from the Hellhound, but I assume not this. The super hot chains begin to ramp around to you. Uh, and you are... Now restrained for one minute. Uh, yeah, so they, they begin to get hot and you start to take 1d6 fire damage. There you go. Have have what have two damage. Fire damage. So this is the same round. I'm still resistant to fire from absorb elements. Well, enjoy so that one. How? <laughs> <laughs> it's like getting into a, a like a hot tub that's just too hot. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, it's just too hot. <laughs> uh, well, good good try. That was his whole turn. <clears throat> that's it? Yeah, you're restrained for one minute. Yeah, that's, that's his turn. He's not okay. like a fancy spell tack, uh, caster. Well. So, restrained just fight. means that I make attacks with disadvantage and can't move, right? I can still cast spells or spells well, any spells that would require you to move your hands around, like you need, you, well, can, you can still do spells that require verbal components. But let me introduce you to the concept of subtle spell. Oh. oh. <laughs> so I will do that if if need be. Let me just double check what the components are for this thing. Although, oh no, wait, you moved! Yay! Okay, we're good. I thought I was gonna fry you because you're right in the line, but <laughs> you did move, so you're good. Um. Okay, I am going to, um, what the heck am I going to do? Oh yeah, Restrain doesn't say anything about, you, you can still cast spells, everything's just going to be at disadvantage. But if it's like, um, one where they have to make a saving throw, it, it doesn't really do anything, does it? No, I guess not. Well, how about that? I mm. can send the subtle spell if you'd like. Nah, it's okay. Okay. It um, say anything yeah. anything about that, so you... You just can't move, and your speed becomes zero, and things have advantage against you. Gotcha. Okay. So with my action, um, I am going to uh, cast Lightning Bolt. And... Oh, Lightning Bolt. The classic. Yes. That is a classic. I love mm -hmm. her. We love her. Um, and I'm going to expend a charge spell to do max damage. Oh, look at that. Look at that. No, look at that. <laughs> Just look and, at it. And thank goodness you stepped to the side. <laughs> so oh. you don't, I do not fry my friend. <laughs> um, They need to make a... Uh, I believe it's dexterity. Yeah, dexterity saving throw. The DC is 17. Oh my god. It's not that good. Come on, Zarnak. You got this. Dexterity, and that's plus two. Oh, well. <laughs> Still fails. How much is that? Uh, 48 lightning damage. I'm sorry, what was that? 48 <laughs> lightning damage. Uh... <laughs> Be glad I could only do this once a day. <laughs> well, the Hellhound's dead. You shoot a lightning bolt, and it goes straight through, like, the hellhound's forehead all the way to the back of its body. You, like, um, kabob him with lightning. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, and it, it puts a big hole in Zarnak's stomach. Oh, and technically, there's also one fire damage on that from Absorb Element. <laughs> oh, wow, look at that. <laughs> Just in case, I'll put a little sauce on top. <laughs> there he takes. Oh wait, no, he's good. He, he won't take that. It's rounded down. He's got uh, resistance to fire damage. Oh nice. Well, good for him. Yeah, he's not gonna take that because there's no half damages. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, never mind. There is no one fire damage because it's melee attacks. Never mind. Okay, well I'm so glad we worked that out. And I took the away. <laughs> <laughs> that the damage that he didn't take was damage that he didn't take. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Is that Isn't it? it? 
Um, no. no. I... Yeah, that's gonna be... Do I need to do anything with my bonus action? No. So that is... Uh, I'm gonna expend the two sorcery points to quicken that, so that it oh was my, my bonus action for my action. Um, I can do a can trip. Um, I didn't realize which... the item I gave you was gonna be too powerful. <laughs> I mean, I'm kind of. It makes me very glass cannony, but um, is he still restraining me? By the way. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, that's all right. That's all right. Uh, I'll use my uh, action to uh, twin spell ray of frost. Why not? God. Yeah. I need to do something about you. It's okay. I'm almost out of um for three points, so. <laughs> I run the, hot and fast. Here's um, the, the thing. Okay, sorry, what? I'm clicking the. Uh, does that hit the this guy? Thirteen versus AC. Yeah. Did not hit. No. Okay. It's okay. Uh, I'll, I'll finish him. Twenty-one against this guy. Yeah, that's a hit. Cool. Um. Where's the? Oh Eleven cold damage. <laughs> and. His speed is reduced by 10 feet until the start of my next Well, that turn. that's great. That's great, because you exactly <laughs> killed him. What? Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, well, whatever, man. You got the jump on him, so... Yeah, we okay. did. Our expert plan. That's the reward. I'm not gonna just take away your, your cheesy victory. I'm not that kind of GM. <laughs> Hey, we earned that. We planned that perfectly. Uh, we did. You shoot the lightning through his stomach and his like spine is exposed. And he's like, I'm in a rage. And he wields his flaming dagger like he's going to come after you. And you freeze him solid. And he falls backwards and shatters. Oh, into God. a bunch of little icy pieces. Huh. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, good job. Goodness. Well, hang on, this thing over here is still up. Yeah, yeah, maybe the one hellhound that has half HP will come after you guys, who knows. Hey, he's still got his breath weapon. Oh yeah, he does still have his breath weapon. I'm just saying. We'll okay. see about that. It really is. It's a pretty strong turn. breath weapon. It can. It did like more than half my health. Nine, 19? Yeah. 19? Yeah, 11 plus 9. Oh wait, no. That is with the plus 9. Does 11 hit? Probably not. No, 11 does not hit. <laughs> That's you fine. Got, you got more attacks. Let's try the special sword. There you go. Does a 15 hit? Yes, a 15 hits. I pull out my magical sword that I got from Fizzle and that elf. That, that elf guy. That, oh, that elf guy. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I wield it with one hand and I send it sinking down towards this hellhound's head as he's trying to bite my feet. Uh, you sweep at its head of its neck and you uh, you gash into it, but he's still up and he's still trying to give you a nibble. He's still up? Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. Action surge. Oh my gosh, here, really? Here, here <laughs> okay. we go. <laughs> We're going Finish back. him. Be like, okay. We're gonna try the great sword one more time. Oh man, you you go into the same cut you started around its neck and you cleave its head off. Look at your old good old action surge. Mm-hmm. Time for a long rest. Or a short rest. Actually no, I think it's a long rest. Sarnite didn't even get to use his dagger, man. <laughs> Special dagger and everything. Uh, congratulations, guys. You, you won the encounter. Yay! Yay! Were you not expecting us to do spent that perfect like, stealth? Spent like two weeks building that stupid <laughs> encounter. You guys clean it out in like 30 minutes. 
Hey, again, the plan could have gone south so quickly. Yeah, exactly. But it definitely could have. We all we just rolled really well on stealth. And hey, don't feel, don't feel too bad. Uh, last game, you almost knocked us out completely. That's true. That's man. true. You were so close. Well, we got lucky. <laughs> So after, so after the combat's over, I yell out, weren't we supposed to talk to this guy? <laughs> uh, yeah, actually, I think we were. He's not going to be doing much talking. Well, he seems very full of himself. I'm sure he's got journals and shit. Um, I'll go search his pockets. No, yeah, where are they? <laughs> There's a little bit of pocket there. Uh, he's still kind of icy. Um... The only thing that's not frozen is his dagger. Ooh. I could picture that being a very visual fight. What does a dagger do? He didn't even get to say his monologue. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> you caught me monologuing. Okay, so you sorry, you taking the dagger, you said? Oh, I'm just gonna look at it. Oh yeah, it's uh it's like a masterpiece of dark craftsmanship. Uh, it's very fiery and it has this eerie otherworldly glow. Do we, um, do any of us recognize the, the runes on it? Um, it says dagger stab. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think it through. Pointy part goes in person. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> this guy was a leader of a cult. Does it have so any me. religious symbol on it? Yeah, I do that. That that was beautiful. You see what happens when you make a plan, you stick to it, and it goes your way. Oh, flawless victory! You see, if we had just like free for all of that, and yet came out this victorious, maybe I'd be a little concerned. But we had that out perfectly planned. Mm -hmm. Send in the decoy. Send in the invisible Snoop and the stalking predator, and then all hell broke loose. Literally, with two hellhounds. <laughs> For you, Renax, Luke, Josh, and oh, Sam, too. I think that you three are the reason my viewer attention has skyrocketed. <laughs> <laughs> well, give yourselves a pat on the back. Yeah! <laughs> I also you subscribed, too, with my Prime subscription. When did that happen? Um, I think last game. I didn't see it. Did I see it? Thank you so much. Maybe I have to continue it again. Maybe that's why. You basically got me a beer. And nice. you also have my continued support. <laughs> and my money. Take it. <laughs> Take it all. And I'm, my axe. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much I've... for your support, everybody. No worries. Go buy the cups and the shirts and the sweaters. That's what I have. And if you're looking for a wonderful upgrade there's to your sweaters? Paisley, yeah, your there's Paisley sweaters. little office chair, please check out Secret Labs. Oh my gosh, these chairs are amazing. I couldn't sleep <laughs> in this chair. I'm I sure literally, I sat in my friend's Secret Lab chair before and it, she had to like drag me out of it. Um, mm -hmm. This isn't even me, just like, it was so comfy. Yeah, the friend of mine at college actually has one at Jesus Age Christ. <laughs> I don't know why they call it secret labs. It must be a secret as to why they make their chair so good. So you don't touch the dagger. I mean, I don't touch the dagger. We've touched so many cursed things in our time. <laughs> it just seems like I we've learned at this point, maybe. Uh, yeah. not me. I can touch the dagger. You go for it. Go for I it. mean, you're already cursed, so, you know, it's your curse. What's worse? What's- is there- More curse on top of your curse? 
Yeah, okay, I'm gonna touch the dagger, cause... <laughs> Why not? It's really not that bad I couldn't get curse. more curse. I, I think that it's not even gonna... I don't think it can stack with your current situation. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're supposed to be haunted by nightmares when you... Oh, well, yeah, you are, already you are, there. You are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know. Except now there will be two of them. No, see, that's they're just the gonna thing. be fighting for dominance of your nightmares. <laughs> like, oh, it's my turn. You had yesterday. Okay. I get weekend. Let me just. No, see, here's the thing: is she's having nightmares with this curse while also having. Wow. Oh, oh dang. That's sexy. That's a nice. I someone should just use that. That's a nice looking blade. It's a nice looking knife. Oh, it's nice. You cut your cut your potatoes with that. Be real nice. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, uh, it's cursed. The weapon bears a curse from its infernal origins. The wielder finds themselves haunted by by nightmares of the abyss. Oh. Uh, Which you already have. A growing sense of paranoia and distrust towards it. Oh, those two I don't have. Oh yeah. What happens if you're from the abyss already? Is it that scary to you in your nightmare? I guess, I guess not. <laughs> if you're already familiar with the abyss, you're probably I'm like, oh... It reminds Keepling, me of, uh, reminds yeah, me of home. Yeah, would it make me homesick? <laughs> and that's why I'm sad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it just make you homesick. Well, okay. It's not that well, bad. Then, well, then you take the you take the scary knife. That's not that scary. Yeah, I might be the only one. It's not going to really affect. Well, and you too with your stacked dreams. Yeah, what more can be done to you, honestly? <laughs> yeah. I'm dying, my soul's gonna get ripped out of my body. Oh, you're not dying yet anymore. Yeah, true, we fixed it. For, For now. now. <laughs> For now. <laughs> but, yeah, you take the knife. If the nightmares aren't gonna hurt you, and you're a pirate, you probably are like, mm. well, anyway. <laughs> it doesn't make much difference to you. Yeah, that's fair. Um, well... I'll, I'll I'll take it, but I'm not going to attune to it, because I, I, I don't think that I actually even really need to use it. Cause I'm not really a dagger wielder. Yeah, but, but look at my... that. Oh, actually, do we think this is, like, a part of the contract? Like, do we feel like this needs to be destroyed in order to weaken? Or did we do we feel that just by getting rid of... Um, uh, Zarnak, that that it's that's nullified the contract. Oh no, that was our mission. It wasn't to talk to the guy. It was technically to kill him. Yeah, because we're weakening him by getting rid of his contracts. But I don't yeah. know if we do that just by killing him, or if we have to do something with this knife. Hmm. Well, we can't. <laughs> we can't burn it. That'd be counterproductive. There you go, everybody. Enjoy that. Cool. That is a sexy blade. We do have um. Um, our friend, is it Kavari? Is that yeah. how? It... Yeah, the half dragon that 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 broke that artifact for the Harper. I don't even think she realized she could do it to that extreme level with her hammer. But maybe if we feel we need to destroy this, she could do that for us. Maybe. Maybe could be dangerous, but maybe something to consider. Upon a successful hit, the dagger drains the life essence of its victim, restoring 1d4 hit points to the wielder. Ooh. Oh! The wielder can bind a target with infernal change the target. Wow! This thing can do infernal binding! It's worth, bind the, a target it's worth the paranoia. Huh. Or the homesickness. <laughs> <laughs> Just be a man about it. Yeah! <laughs> Could you imagine using the infernal binding and then using the laser thing? It would be so much easier. They Find a target with ten. Oh, change the target with six feet on a. That is pretty cool. Well, I guess do we scope the p place and see if there's any other goodies here that we need. Or like information, yeah. That's yeah. See if he, I mean, it sounded like he was researching all this stuff before he fell into the the hands of Morganax, so... 
That's what you did until he fell on the hands of you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Aw, shut yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God you're on our side because oh, holy right. moly. <laughs> After all that, I do really feel like I need a nap. That's really all I had in me. <laughs> you gave it your I'm a go big and go home kind of person, it seems. Mm hmm. Okay. I do all not right. have the devotion of visibility anymore. Your, your, your time spent searching this, uh, this sanctuary. Uh, reveals a sad tale of a man who was truly interested in the Nine Hells simply for academic reasons. Fell into an obsession of uh, and desire for power after reading about a particular devil and ended up becoming warlock. Joined, uh, joined forces. He's currently in the works of a ritual that was going to bring his master to the material plane. Interrupted by you guys. <laughs> Take that, you stupid devil guy thing. Oh, we are so going to get it when we face this guy, though. You also what? learned that um, they were sacrificing the souls of um, many innocent travelers that they were ambushing and conducting. Oh. Oh, that makes me feel better. <laughs> Them. Uh, thus, the burnt skeletons in the cage, they were all being sacrificed. Thanks to you stopping the ritual, their souls are able to pass on safely to the next realm. Yeah, I'm going to say like a prayer for all the lives lost. Guide these. May they find peace in the afterlife. All that, you know, church stuff. By the finite patience invested in me, amen. <laughs> uh, you also find out a little bit more. You find in his notes the location of a black dragon. Oh! <laughs> uh, uh, that he was meeting with. A black dragon that made a deal with uh, Sir uh, Lord Edric Valtor. <laughs> mm. It uh, just doesn't end. Oh, I'm guessing this is the dragon that you both came across. Uh, no, actually, it no. is that dragon's mother. Oh, the full-on adult black dragon. Oh, yeah. I think, yeah, that's gonna be fun. Do you remember her name? I wrote it down. Yeah, we have it written down. Hold on. Zavastra Blackwing. Zavastra? Zavastra. Zavastra Blackwing is her name. And what was the name of her son, the one that you two came across? Uh, Zephyros. No, but you gotta say it like him though. Zavaros Blackwing. Blackwing. Yeah. Blackwing. Yeah. And was he a half dragon or a full dragon? He's a half dragon. Okay. Zavastra, the mother, is a full dragon. Zephyros is a half dragon. Gotcha. Okay. <clears throat> Does it say anything about um? Uh, Zavastra in being in league with um, Lord Eldric Veltor or it, Vorganax? It does. It does say. Uh, it doesn't use the word Vorganax at all. It's always his, uh, his alias. Veltor, his alias. Um, but it does speak of uh, this pact between the dragon and Veltor and that they were scheduled to meet up in person. To discuss uh, further plans, and uh, like that was one of the reasons why he was trying to summon Devil Friend 
to the material plane. Huh. And we stopped it. Good job. Mm -hmm. So you can be even more pissed off at us. Mm hmm. Haha, <laughs> take that. Well, we should just go kill this dragon, too. <laughs> Cover all our tracks. Easier I mean, said than done. I mean, if we go kill the dragon, I vote that we find our dwarf friend and take him with us because it's kind of his whole shit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. You're going to actually have to track down that real world person and get him to join in, you know? <laughs> um. We'll, we'll have to make it happen. Uh, I can get a hold of him, I'm sure. Um. You guys should, like, roll intelligence, though, or something. Okay. 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 Actually, Aurelius, you should just know this. R roll... You don't have to roll history. You just know. An adult black dragon is not something you would ever be able to take on in your dreams at your current state. Even mm -hmm. with all of your powers. Mm -hmm. It's just not in the books. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you think. <laughs> Not with well, that attitude. <laughs> well then, well then, I say quite calmly. Well, I appreciate your guys's um, guts, but um, going up against a black dragon of all things, um, yeah, we don't stand a chance. Really? I mean, dragons are among the, one of the most powerful creatures in the material plane, and. I mean, as much as I don't want to discredit what we've achieved so far, I don't believe that we're prepared yet. I mean, so also... you think that we should wait a little before uh, finding her head on? Mm-hmm. I, I believe that we we must <clears throat> we must focus on solving what we can solve first before taking on something that we can't, and then it all be worth nothing. Right. Guess, They'll probably guess, take on the smaller contracts first. Mm hmm And I mean, I guess our main priority is Valtor. Everything else is... Because you never know. We may not have to end up fighting this dragon because if she is a mother, she may be trapped and she may have want to have a find a way out. Although, but we never know. She could not be. That's true. She's a, she's a black dragon. <laughs> I know, but that doesn't necessarily mean that she's all bad. They're like notoriously like the worst ones. <laughs> I know. But aren't yeah. they chaotic? Yeah, they're evil. Yeah, they're yeah. chaotic evil. <laughs> so she doesn't really have like Morals. She's probably not gonna take the time to like logic things out with people she feels she could just defeat very easily, probably. If I would argue that we have a better chance finishing off uh Zephyros than we do uh Oh mm, that's true. And he's and even he's a half dragon, and he, even he almost to put us in our place oh, so yeah. it makes me very concerned i trying to remember that he didn't run away he just kind of spared you and left he gave us mercy which i mean good for us it might be bad for him we'll see you remember what he said to you before he left we aren't worth it not here and not now not not like this whatever he said like that Now we have me who can turn him into a lightning shish kebab. <laughs> That's true. We didn't have her with us last time. But these are valid points. Like you're the <laughs> MC. And like I said, we have a better chance of taking Zephyros out than we do Zavastra. I mean, it'll still kind of hit her where it hurts. Hey, we killed one of your kids. Oops. Her only child. <laughs> But then we might run the risk of having both an adult black dragon and a literal devil uh, in our bad graces. We'd be so famous. I have a feeling that if they're, <laughs> if they're affiliated, then it's already happening. That's true. Yeah. Well, right now they kind of think we're thieves. We're nothing more than a thorn in their side. We're not... I don't think they really consider us a threat to them yet. We're just That's in true. He did seem to think that we just sort of stumbled into inconveniencing him. Mm-hmm. Now we're kind of... It's, it's good to keep him annoyed, but not aware that we're doing this deliberately and successfully. Because yes. if, if he does find out that we're deliberately destroying his plans instead of accidentally doing it, then I think it might end very poorly. Yeah, because right now he's just underestimating us mm -hmm. and our abilities. Be right back. Keep it that way. <laughs>
Well, I do look forward to the day that we are strong enough. Take them on. It's exciting. Just so you guys it's... know, you, you are going to level up to level 7. Ah, <gasps> <gasps> oh, that's okay. exciting! I get a sorcerer thingy! Exciting. Yee! Oh, and Alex missed that. <laughs> Shoot. Oh, oh no. <laughs> surprise him when he comes back, it's fine. Yeah. Is there is there space dragons? <clears throat> yeah. Ah. Like, do you mean from the, the, um... Oh, God. What is that expansion called? Spelljammer? Yes, that. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, there's there's moon dragons. I don't know if you, uh, Neve specifically would know this, but there's, um like, moonstone dragons. And there's a solar dragon. Yes. And I think there's a oh, there's another one that's kind of like a, a spooky one. Hold on, I have my spell jammer books. I can I can check. Maybe you should invest in that on roll twenty. It's um I think okay, last time I looked, which was not that long ago, it was on sale. Um where is there's my spell Gemma. I, I think I got it for my birthday, but it's a pretty sweet expansion thing. I just love space. So space D D was just awesome. <laughs> space is so cool. It's and the books, space. like the art in them are just so cool. But it comes with three it's three books. So there's the Adventurer's Guide, which is like basically all the rules for combat in space and stuff in space. And then there's a a campaign that comes with it. And then I think the Astral Menagerie is where all the monster stat blocks are. Cool. Yeah, there's Ancient Solar Dragon. Oh my god. It looks sick. They have Adult Solar Dragon, Young Solar Dragon, Solar Dragon Wormling. Which is very cute. Space eels. <laughs> Space clowns. Space clowns. Uh, mm -hmm. Why are we talking about They're this? Let's, freaky let's, looking. Let's, let's game. Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> they asked about space dragons and I was like, yeah. Sorry. Uh, we'll talk about space dragons later. <laughs> yes. Maybe that'll be a thing if I uh, end up managing to get a hold of that book. Oh? The space Mortal fan. Space. And I did write my character background <laughs> with space in mind. That would be so much fun. I just leveled up Sizzle uh, instead of actual NPC. Sorry, Shouldn't we? Game. Don't don't we all level up at some point too? You're gonna, you're gonna no, level not up. Yet. Oh. Not <laughs> after this session. You level up. So just after. Okay. What are you guys doing? Well, I mean, after I have my little pep, pep talk, I guess we can leave. <laughs> This. Well, I guess we like well then well then but like stopping that guy kind of dead end because where do we go to from here now? You guys have the location of a dragon that I'm planning on meeting with uh, him. Yeah, but it's the mother dragon. We don't yeah. want to fight her. Yeah, well, this, that that's a problem for you guys to solve. Oh, well, we don't have to fight her, but we can go and scope and snoop. Oh, reconnaissance. That's mm -hmm. true. Do you do you both know how to get in contact with her son again? Mm, no. I, I I think bringing our dwarf friend back might get, get his attention. Ah. Uh, he does have a loud voice. I'm sure you'd probably be able to hear it. And he's been he's been tracking him for like forty years. That's true. So if I'm anybody sure. knows where he is, he would. I'm sure he's not far off his track. Did, did um. Yeah. Does Zarnak have any other writings of, like, people who have packs with, um, Valtor? Or is it just about him and his studies? Uh, it's mostly about him and his buddy, but there is... Uh, one other uh, individual you see there. Uh, someone named Shadow Mantle. Shadow Mantle? Shadow Mantle. Shadow Mantle. Yeah. 
Is it, it's just a person named Shadow Mantle? Does it once, like this? it's just somebody who was once a scholar, known for her incredible thirst for knowledge and talent in sorcery, um, found herself um, very just underwhelmed with the progress she was making and decided to make a deal for more knowledge. Uh. With the devil you may have heard of. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I hear that word deal, I'm going to go, I'm going to scoff. Uh, last, <laughs> he said that he was looking for her, but ended up uh, doing other things. And the last uh, time he heard of her, she was in a town off in the kingdom of high water. Oh. In a town near high water. Well, like, that could be a, a direction uh, to go in. Um, uh, our, our new elven friend, uh, is she a wizard, or did we get a sense of what her specialty is? The elf, uh, sorcerer? Ectanon, oh, yeah. Ectanin? Oh, she's, she's a, sorcerer. a sorcerer. Sorry, she's just a healer. She's got a, a homebrew class that is 100% non-combat. Oh, gotcha, okay. She's basically, like, kind of a wizard slash druid. Gotcha. So, kind of a witch. Yeah. Yeah. Which I wish was a, an actual class. I always battle between playing a wizard and a druid, because I just want to be a witch. <laughs> <laughs> um, maybe we could also bring back all this information to... Um, to Ectanon. Maybe, yeah. maybe she'll have a better sense of the direction for us to go in. Because Highwater okay. is quite far from here, is it not? Uh, yes, uh, yes it is. It's a couple days' journey, at best. Oh, sorry. Uh, I guess you guys would know about High Water. It's a, it's a city. Sorry, it's a region uh, that is located north of Baldur's Gate. Okay. It's lo it's known for its prosperous lands, fed by winding rivers. Oh. Uh, it has a lot of lake fishing. Mm. So Canada. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. It's in <laughs> in Canada. In inland Canada. <laughs> it is north. Lakes. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. true, yeah, basically just Canada. Sick. How far is it from Baldur's Gate? Uh, it's pretty far. It's going to take, if you travel like on horseback and take the road without a guide, it could take you up to a month just to get there. Ooh! Not, Ooh. Yeah. Wow. Depending on, uh, on traffic and weather. Welcome <laughs> to the stream. Good morning. This is your 8 a.m. Baldur's Gate traffic traffic report. Well, <laughs> we can, if we could see here, no. <laughs> well, we got we got clear skies today. We got traffic backed up for 30 miles on this unkipped road going towards God knows where. Expect <laughs> expect expect delays. Oh gosh. Oh, sorry. Um, in the journal it mentions that she was seeking a way to sever her pact. Um, uh oh. But um, not go, it's not going well, and he was going to go deal with her. Oh, so. Okay, well, that's kind of a, that's kind right. of a priority now. Well, no, oh. no, he, he killed him. Oh. We killed him. So yeah. she's, oh, sorry, she's okay for now. But oh. that, that's actually, that could be a really good direction to go in, because it sounds like she's not wanting to keep keep on her pact so if we can help her figure out how to um um uh dissolve her pact then we'd be weakening them in and also maybe getting a an ally in this maybe but she is really far away by that person but i don't know sorry well i guess well, I, I guess the first thing we need to do is return to Baldur's Gate and regroup. I was just going to assume that you guys were talking about this, going over his journals, walking back. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah, we're walking and talking. We're walking, walking and talking. Walking, yeah. hopefully, we don't run in, <laughs> hopefully we don't run into more goblins that we have to shoot through a bag of inconvenience. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun, though. It was oh, fun. Um, the actually... Feywilds, man. Neve, mm -hmm. when you maybe you go to like touch your amulet that you want, 
You notice something a little bit odd when you go to, like, move it around. It doesn't seem to move. Hmm. And the storm collar's ominous. You, you, you look over to your... Yeah, that one. Uh, it seems... You look down at it, and it seems as though it is starting to become a part of you. Oh! What? I'm sure that's nothing. <laughs> uh, I mean, Neve's used to having things stuck to her hand, right? <laughs> that's true, I do still have all this weird glue. Maybe I just spilled some glue on it and I didn't notice. Uh, no, you didn't spill any of the glue on it. I did not spill glue on it, never mind. Leading theory, not, not correct. Alright, well, I'm sure that's a problem for later. Uh, as you're traveling down the road, you hit, like, see like a group of goblins. And they're like... Trying to run away from you guys. So like, oh, nope, not those guys. Not those guys. Ah, <laughs> uh, word traveled fast, I see. I'm sure they've heard of my time in the fighting pit. If you want an autograph, don't be scared. <laughs> <laughs> run, the lightning devil will get you. <laughs> <laughs> the lightning devil. And in it. this corner, weighing 90 pounds. <laughs> Soaking wet. <laughs> the lightning devil! Sorry, sorry, to brush, sorry to brush over that um, that amulet that is coming a part of you. Uh, yeah, it seems to be that the magic is imbuing itself in you. Or uh, do I get a sense that this is like my uh, mine? Because I mean, she is she is born of of storm magic, right? Like she's a storm sorcerer. Yeah, yeah it's the so it's Do I that. feel like it's sort of that is just like absorbing this? Yeah, it doesn't seem harmful. That's okay. She, it seems like it's just becoming a part of you. Not in right. A, in a it's like way. fusing with my already existing storm magic. Yeah. Like it's at All a right. point where you could probably stop it if you wanted to. You just let it happen. I might what? just let it happen. <laughs> what would what would they do? What would she do? What would you do? Well, I mean it, um... I'm telling you all this, by the way, because she doesn't really keep secrets. Um, I mean, it doesn't feel like it's bad. It just sort of... I mean, from the beginning, it's always just felt like my own magic, and now it's just feeling more and more like my own magic. Well, so I, I don't guess, think it's bad. I guess it would be more convenient if you don't have to keep pulling that thing out to use it. That's true. I, is it causing you any pain? Does it hurt? Nope. It's like electric. Like imagine you had put your hands on a generator and got a big shock, like mm -hmm. that. But that doesn't feel bad to you. No. <laughs> Feels I mean, very it... comforting to her. I think. It's like a nice hum of electricity. A happy tingle. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it doesn't hurt. Feels right. After your little expedition back, you return to Baldur's Gate. Where do we go and see Kalvari again, or do we go to an inn and have a pint? We did say that we'd have a pint with her when we got back. Maybe we should invite them out. We should. Ectanon seems a little bit more of a homebody, so I won't push her too much, but it would be nice <laughs> if we could get her out too to thank her again. Yeah, she's even still there. Oh, that's true. Who said she was going back to her tower? Well, let's go check anyways. Okay. Does, uh, uh does Kavari make, make magical items, items, or just regular, like, armor and weapons? Uh, she makes magic items. Oh, okay. Maybe, maybe she'll be able to give us some insight on this dagger we got. And also this amulet that's being absorbed into my body. <laughs> Uh, we'll, I'll bring you back to the, the other map, unless you want to stay at this map. This map is really nice. We could just, it's pretty. It's nice to look at, so there you go. It is really nice to look at. <laughs> Very pretty. I'll just leave it here. Um, so Kavari and Ectanon are actually both in the forge, looking a lot less roughed up. Fresh clothes that are not all torn up. From oh, I sure, I sure hope so. We've been gone all day. We'll <laughs> forge sentinels and stuff. <laughs> it's like, oh, you're back already. What what happened? It's actually been like two days. Yeah. 
traveled for. Do you ah. really do you really want to know what happened? Um yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, he likes to be cryptic. Uh <laughs> it went really well. Um should probably lead with that. Um I mean as well as it could for the situation, but uh oh, actually, I guess from your perspective maybe not good. But um it seems your friend got a little too invested with devils. Became a bit obsessed and uh, made a pact to be a warlock of oh Valkor. I, I'll yeah, admit, I've never expected that from him. He always seemed like a nice, a nice man. He was very connected with his roots at his village. Yeah, I think I think he may have went off on the deep end on that. That's that's very tragic. I would have never expected that from him. That's well. I mean, who's to say? It's hard to tell if if the obsession that he developed was just from his own volition, or if there was devil work involved. It's always possible that it wasn't his uh, original plan. But either way, we did. Um, <clears throat> deal with him in the best way that we could and uh, Valtor is weakened for it and we promise you it was very quick <laughs> very, very very quick oh that's L literally no pun intended it was a flash <laughs> <laughs> and then a bit of a freeze he's just like looking back at everybody that's speaking without saying much <laughs> <laughs> Um, oh, we also um, discovered that, uh, well, um, God, sorry, all the names keep escaping my brain. Um, Zarnak was uh, doing a, or about to do a ritual to try and bring Valtor to this plane so that he might meet with um, a, an adult ba uh, black dragon. Uh, by the name of Zavastra, Zavastra Blackwing. Zavastra. Which I think you all had a run in with her son. Oh, yeah. Yes. Zavaros? Zavaros Blackwing, that's right. Yes. Yeah, he's the one that came to my tower. He was looking for the same artifact that uh, we discovered at that, uh, that shrine. We've been talking about uh, a lot of stuff. I haven't actually even been back to my tower yet. I tended to go back, but we just... You know, we've just been chatting. <laughs> well, you, days. You're, I've you're, been very, there you're, very, you're very wise. <laughs> you know lots. Well, uh, Kavari was just uh, telling me about um, what happened to her father. I don't know if... We can resume that conversation later. This is obviously more pressing. Actually, we were, um, we have a bit more to tell you, and uh, we were kind of hoping that we could treat you both to to a pint, maybe a meal. We could use use the rest, the relaxation. Of course. R I'm sure that... Need some R&R. Any, &R. any taverns would be interested in you know, having the, uh, the, the storm devil, or the lightning devil, present. Oh, that's a name that's actually caught on. I thought they were just being dramatic. <laughs> I kind of like it. I think it's cool. I love I'm into it. it. What do you prefer, storm oh. devil or lightning devil? I think prob well, probably storm because I think she has she got thunder stuff, she got ice shit, and she got lightning stuff. Yeah, okay. So and also wind stuff. So I think she's the whole storm. The storm. Oh. <laughs> the whole storm. I like the, the, whole, whole, storm. the whole storm. <laughs> it's the whole storm. The whole storm. <laughs> the, oh God. the whole kit and caboodle. Yeah. <laughs> the elements are on your side. Yeah, well. I'll call you the storm devil. I like it. The um. Whole, the whole oh. storm. Yeah, the whole story. Uh, I did have a question. I don't know if either of you can can tell me what might be happening. But this um, amulet that I picked up a, a little while back seems to be sort of 
fusing with me. And it doesn't feel bad or wrong, but it's just odd. Bavari, like, gets really close to it and, like, starts tapping on it with her finger. I let her. It doesn't look like it's all the way in there, at least not yet. I could get that. I could probably remove that for you. Thing is, I don't know if I want it removed. Is it doesn't it, feel dangerous, and it, it doesn't hurt. Is it causing you any pain? No. It feels like my own magic. It looks like it's like just it's, absorbing. Yeah, it looks like it's just becoming, you know, just... You. You. It, it just looks like another part of you. It just feels like another part of me. But you're never going to ever take it away from me, no. <laughs> I guess it'll be easy to keep it away from pickpockets. <laughs> That's true. And if you throw a punch, I'm sure that's going to hurt having that metal or that solid thing hit your no, face. It, it looks like it's just starting. So it looks like it's going to get more um, in there. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, is there any danger in not removing it? Like, what if it's fully absorbed? Well, at that point, I, it probably couldn't be removed. Hmm. But there's no no danger, no nothing. Well, I don't know. Can you still cast your spells if you absorb it with that thing? Hey. Yeah. It feels like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Spell. Can I look at the ring that I have? the Ring of the Stormweaver and see if yeah. that's absorbing into me. Do you want it to be? I don't know! I feel like there's a part of her that you... is maybe gonna reach out with this feeling and just see if it's happening you, with you, the ring. It's not happening with the ring, but as you kind of feel the ring and, and you just kind of you're tuned to it, you're connecting with it, you feel like you could absorb it if you wanted. You feel like oh, you just boy. somehow, you know how to like absorb this magic item. Huh, I kind of feel like I could do it with this ring as well. Do you know why it's happening? Is it just because its magic is so similar to mine? Or is there something else happening? You know how some of you humans can, like, twist your tongue? You know? And, sure. Like, uh, it's just something you can't describe happens, but sometimes people can just do it. Hmm. A natural phenomenon. Yeah. Like the same thing with magic. Some people can consume, even absorb into magic items. It's a sign of overwhelming amount of power. I mean, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I came into this game saying, I, I want to be a storm sorcerer. And, you got your and you were like, yep, you got it. I don't know. There, there, there was you get fortune. to be real good at this one thing. Here you go. And I am so grateful. Yeah, to be fair, it's all I've ever wanted. you real good at it. Yeah. There's a That's fortune tough. teller you could talk to out somewhere in Baldur's Gate, I'm sure. Ooh. And then maybe they could tell you. A fortune teller? A fortune teller. And then we can go on a, a mission and get the Storm Weaver. <laughs> what is the Wave Mother armor? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll just have someone make that for Neve. I think she'd look sick in that. You know the Wave Mother armor in Baldur's Gate? Wave Mother armor? Oh, I don't... yeah! It's the nicest... Or, sorry, I think it's the Wave Mother's robe, but it's the nicest armor in the game, in my opinion. I've actually uh, been working on armor for all of you. Special for you. <sighs> Probably should have ruined that. I mean, it's okay. I'm, it's still going to be a surprise. Yeah. Well, I just wanted all the magic items to be very unique to your kid. I like that. Well, I don't. I don't really have magic. <laughs> yeah, but you got flair. Get magic item. Yay! If plans. <laughs> maybe, uh, maybe you'll get an armor that powers up every time you say a pun or something. Um, <laughs> that could be good. Very What would be cool is having a magical item that allows me to use my breath weapon twice instead of once. I'm just going to say that we're... Okay. 
I like that. Okay. Oh yeah, <laughs> this is all pub talk. Yeah, this is, this is pub talk. Yeah. Lots of yeah, yeah, yeah. There's like a whole turkey on the table, table, and you're seeing Kavari's dragon side coming out. How quickly she. Mine too. <laughs> you guys are you guys are like fighting over scraps. <laughs> like, like all that. No, I do have. I do, I do have some. I, I like you, yeah. It's like you take your dog to doggy daycare, and they're all just like kind of growling at each other over the food. Like Ectanon's yeah. eating a salad. Of course. <laughs> so civil, so polite. So civil. Well, if we're drinking beer, you're drinking water. There you go. Dang it. <laughs> there was that enough. There was a drop in there. <laughs> I have to go not, get more water. I was not satisfied. Yeah, well, get your questions ready. I'll be right back. I feel like I kind of want to absorb these magic items. I think you should. <laughs> like, I think it seems fun. What have we got to lose at this point? I mean, yeah, we're on, like, a divine mission right now, basically. So <laughs> yeah. I feel like we kind of just got to do it, you know? Yeah. I gotta say, I'm quite impressed with how far I've gotten along with my guy just being mostly a melee fighter. Like I have, yeah, absolutely... he's like crazy well rounded too. I like that. I love how it took three shots of my sword to kill that. I know how it just, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> I got there in the end. <clears throat> so Kavari's like, oh, we'll so um, Epic Gamer Ninja, hydrate more. <sighs> I have a whole glass, okay? <laughs> I'm gonna have to run to the bathroom if you keep making me hydrate. <laughs> okay, well, I did hydrate too much and need to go to the washroom, so I'll be right back. <laughs> we need to prevent those kidney stones. Chug the glass. <laughs> For one more hydrate, I will chug the glass. Waiting for it. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> there. The lamest chug. Uh. No. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. No. <laughs> No! <laughs> You'll never escape it. <laughs> Everybody's doing it now. Yeah. Yes! He'll never escape. Nope. <laughs> Drown him. Drown him. Is this good set of water porting at this level? Oh god, yeah, probably. <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> no. <laughs> Show us your papers of hydrate more. <laughs> Should've put it on a cooldown, buddy. Get nobody to blame but yourself. Oh no. <laughs> oh no! Fun. Join the fun. Alright. <laughs> uh oh. I just have to chuck a gallon. <laughs> <laughs> just get the whole sink over here. I'll just, I'll just get the garden hose. <laughs> <laughs> we all get perma banned. <laughs> like, bye. Everything's done. <laughs> uh, I'm not worried. <laughs> Two more points. I spent too much banning the word the a few streams ago. <laughs> Alright, sorry about that. Oh, you're still pressing the hydrate button? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't make me disable it. 
You're not getting those points back, you know. <laughs> That's fine. I thought age is worth it. That's fine. <laughs> That's fine. That was worth 5,000 points. <laughs> yeah, maybe you should up the quantity for that command. Uh, if you are interested in hearing my story, because this is Kavari. If you yes. are interested yeah. in hearing a little bit more about me, I I'm willing to share. You know what? We're in a pub. We're in a pub. This is a safe space. So, um, I'm. I don't know if you've noticed, but I'm half blue. Yes, as I, I am a blue. <laughs> I am a blue dragonborn. We can relate on this. So, and I haven't really known a lot of my only Bruce he was once a servant of Tiamat mm. he saw it redemption and he wanted to start a new life disguised himself as a human settled down with who would later become my mother And they ended up having me. Just a few years after that, um, there was the Silver Dragon that came. Decided that my father was undeserving of redemption, perhaps, and hunted him down and slayed him. Oh. And my mother. Oh, jeez. Oh, my goodness. I can feel you there. I lost both my parents, too. And the truth is, is I've had a desire to hunt him down. Seek out my own revenge. That's understandable. I think that after I found this artifact, this is, this is the, uh, path I want to go down. I'm going to seek him out. Of course, I wouldn't ask any of you to join me on such an endeavor. You have things to take care of. I just thought I'd share that with you. That's uh, my goal. Um, another I, turkey, I, please. I, <laughs> another turkey, yeah. Bring us all the I get, I get us another time. round. <laughs> People at Baldur's Gate are gonna get very tired of us very quick. <laughs> I mean, uh, thirty, you, you're not gonna chase after this dragon on your own. You know where they are. Uh, I turn and speak up and says, "We've been through a lot together already, and I feel like we we bonded." Kavari, I will travel alongside you. At me. There you go. Strength and numbers. Might I recommend uh, uh, people with... Well, actually, what are your skills, the both of you? Um, well, I Gotta have... make sure it's well-rounded going out. I have a knack for uh, certain things, and I'm actually gonna multi-class her, actually. Oh. Okay. Uh, maybe fighter? Artificer? Ooh. Or maybe Paladin Artificer? No, no, no. no. Not holy. Doesn't even wear socks. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that one was coming. That one did make me laugh. Yeah, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna multi-class into four years. Yay! Well, I'm a champion. But, okay. Uh, what was uh, what is the name of of this silver dragon? Do you know? No, I don't. I'm gonna have to figure that out first, I suppose. Because we gotta travel up north to go see that lady or whatever. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's right. 
So it's possible if you're heading in the same direction, then at least we can keep each other company on the road. Sometimes the road can be the most dangerous part. It's true. We do have to potentially prepare ourselves for a pretty long journey. Maybe we could, in the meantime, uh, help you do a bit of research. I'm sorry, where are you headed again? Well, well we're we're thinking of going to um, high water. High water. That's mm. actually where my father went. To redemption. Hey, what a coincidence! Really, really, what a coincidence! <laughs> Well, well, we're he we're heading up north to intercept this sorcerer woman that is also affiliated with this devil that we're chasing, so. Indeed. And maybe you can find out more about this silver dragon that I had it out for your father back in high water. suppose that might be a good place to start looking. I suppose it, it it makes sense for us to travel together then. It is, and it's a long journey, so. The more the yeah. merrier. That's Hope you're not exactly. sick of us yet. <laughs> exactly. Well, I mean, I guess we need to start preparing for the journey ahead because it's a long one. Yes, I think I'll have to pack up the forge. Maybe I should do a clearance sale before we get out. That's actually be, a really good idea. Might be a while before I return. That is true. Could always use a spare coin on the road too. Eve, you wouldn't happen to be willing to talk to your friends at the. Stop telling me to hydrate. <laughs> ah. <laughs> I, there are, uh, well, yes, there are a lot of folks there that I think I've ruined their armor quite a bit, so I could point them in your direction. It's hard to buff out lightning damage sometimes. All right. Did I make, um, does, does, would Neve or any of us know of, like, is it is it best to go on horseback when we're going this far, or, like... You'd have Is there the option for, like, a, a caravan of some kind? You could hire a caravan, or you could, I guess, buy horses. Like, why not? Get your own horse. How your much stables. do horses cost? I mean, Neve is kind of gold rich. Pretty right loaded now, so. right now. Oh, okay. <laughs> I could do another fight, too, before we hit the road. Yeah, <laughs> I can yeah go, uh, go get all the mages to come buy a bunch of armor. Maybe do a final battle and... I can help work for uh, Gavari and her, her forge. Help us sell her some goods. Maybe she'd give me a little bonus. That's true. The reason I... I, I say that maybe a caravan could be good is that there's quite a few of us and having shelter on the way might be a nice way to save cost so that we don't have to necessarily stop in towns. Ah, not to worry about shelter. I am a man of the woods. I can make a shelter within two hours using nothing but sticks and some vine. Right, but then I have to sleep on the sticks and vines and see that's where I have. Don't you float? Yeah, I, I don't just that. do that when I sleep. <laughs> well, why not? Uh, well, <laughs> you know, I don't know. I'll work on it. <laughs> like, why can't you just make a fluffy cloud to lie on? Isn't, isn't that a saying, too? Ah, it's like sleeping on a cloud. Can't that be a real thing? I wish. <laughs> I'll look into it. You must know something. But, you know... If, if we had a caravan, then maybe Kavari could still do her work on the road. I mean, if that's something she's interested, maybe she does just want the time off. Oh, portable blacksmith! Exactly! <laughs> exactly. Business venture! Yeah! I feel like there's a lot of use for a traveling blacksmith. Oh. Mm hmm. Also, this is mostly Sam being like, we could have a tiny house on wheels. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
Unless that would be crazy expensive. I don't and know. The, and the very early concept of an RV was born. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're glamping. <laughs> yeah. How much is a caravan? Yeah, how much? Is there like a price for that in the... Um, let me check the handbook. I'm actually not sure. Um... I think... Uh... Like you want to hire it? Why don't you just buy horses, man? Okay, hang on. <laughs> <laughs> a caravan, a okay. drawn vehicle that comes supplied with bed, chair, table, chest worth of storage space, barrels for water. It's too bad we're not quite that technologically advanced for trains. Take the train. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, give it a couple thousand years. I'm sure we'll have trains. So the cost of a car caravan, like, how many animals would you need to pull away? You you'd probably need two horses. Yeah. Okay. Probably. Or oxen. Or I don't think you'll do oxen though. Oxen are cheap. <laughs> yeah. Um. You gotta feed them, but we'll worry. They can eat grass. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh, you're you're looking at about for like a, a a good with like two horses, it could cost you like three hundred gold maybe. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, you're good that's with that. Fine. Three hundred. Oh yeah. We're gonna have to talk to people in the city to get get one. Oh, that's Four. what she's good at. It's not. Oh, yeah. No problem. And if people disagree, we'll just make them agree. We have the ability. Also, you're going to do a farewell performance, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Get us a, maybe, hopefully, a little bit more coin. Also, look how cute this thing is. I have so many pictures of D&D &D caravans and, like, little horse-drawn or oxen-drawn. That's oh, pretty cool. It's already 11.30 here. It is. So, uh... Let me just let me just charge you guys 300 GP for the caravan. You can just off screen it if you guys would like. Okay. Uh -huh. Maybe ne maybe next time we can do a little RP on the road because yeah. it's a long journey. Uh, so I am gonna end the session. <laughs> that was fun. Thanks so much. Yeah. Oh, of course. oh, and we level up to level seven, yes. right? For level, the next one. You were level yeah. seven. In the Woo! The next encounter yeah. is a level 7 encounter, so... Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, oh shoot. <laughs> oh no. Rolled a 2 for his HP. That's okay. That's it okay. Is what it is. You know what? Beggars can't be choosers, okay? <laughs> we have healers in the party. Exactly. Plus, I have a second wind. Yeah. Perfect. And you can attack like four times if you want to create. Um, exactly. Well, three, but close enough. All right. Thank you all again for coming. Thanks, everyone. No problem. Uh, next weeks from today you can build a float for the next parade you have tons of time <laughs> <laughs> remember to buy us coffee mugs and his Do shirts it. and his sweaters i Do have it. them they're great honest review do it hashtag not paid hashtag not sponsored. just to be clear <laughs> I, would, not uh, paid. I would like to say thank you to my sponsor <laughs> I know. Uh, <laughs> uh, thank you to Secret Lab for sponsoring this stream. Um, really... Anybody from Secret Lab happens to watch my stream? Uh, your chairs are very comfortable. They've helped me through many long eight hour plus sessions of gaming. <laughs> <laughs> this chair has served me well over the last four years. Um, Still going strong. I, uh, there is a link in the about page. There's also a link in 
on. Um, they're good chairs. I wouldn't just sell you a chair if I didn't believe in it. So, I gotta, I gotta pedal the merch. I'm sorry. You do. <laughs> um. So. I'm every night. Let us know what you thought. Yeah, let let us know what you thought. What do you thought about the adventure? Uh, I'll fine, I'll get around to putting in my making my notes and summary that I post on Discord. <laughs> have, a, have a great night, everybody. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye bye. Bye.